Hello, everyone, and welcome to tonight's episode of Critical Role, where a bunch of us nerdy ass voice actors sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. Before we jump into tonight's episode, uh, we do have some quick announcements to get through, beginning with the sponsor of tonight's episode. Hot Topic, Sam. Hey. Hot yeah. Topic. So this is brought to you by Hot Topic. As some of you may remember, earlier this year, this year, what a year! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> earlier this year, we had our first wave of apparel drop at Hot Topic, and we are excited to share the second wave. Now, apparel is fine; it's fine. But the best part about this Hot Topic gear is, it's got so many more different uses than just wearing it. It on your body, you can life hack it. And in fact, I took some of their their sample apparel at my home, and I life hacked it and showed you what else you can do with it. Let's roll that video right now. Brush and a bowl full of what? Uh, hey, kids! Good night noises everywhere. The end. Oh, <laughs> love you, big guy. <laughs> Video. Yeah, we totally oh just saw that. Just oh, now. I wonder what That's it's going to be like. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks to my wife who may or may not have shot that. Um, but it's not just clothing. We've added more characters. Nope. We've added. They'll edit this out. We've added more categories beyond some awesome shirts, like drinkware, a journal, some pins, buttons, a cool D20 backpack hanger. Backpack hanger? Yeah, yeah. you can all, go ahead and hold that one up right now. I have this? Yes. Oh, yeah. This is a backpack hanger. Yeah. I was oh, picturing like a thing back. that you hang a backpack on. <laughs> yeah, like, that's just a hanger. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, I'm to the to the German oh, in the last yeah. arc when he comes in going like, good evening, Fraulein. <laughs> <laughs> and Funko Pops. We also have two amazing blankets with the beautiful artwork of Critter artists, Hugo Cardenas and Joseph. Joseph Ramirez, and all of this is more is, is available through Hot Topic. So get on to bit.ly slash Hot Topic CR and check it out. Laura, we brought some of the stuff yes. with us tonight, yes. right? You did an amazing job, Thank Sam, you. talking That's about not all this stuff. Realm job back back but here. yes, we do have some of the stuff to show off tonight. So yeah. you, Sam, obviously, Sam uh, has that pin. fabulous. I don't know if you can well, see I, that. Hold on, I was oh. gonna get to the oh, pin. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Laura. But it's too freaking late now. Stop holding the dang pin. Okay, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Oh, what a lovely pin! <laughs> oh, and look at your hoodie! And it's got a back to it, too. I it think. does! Yeah! Ooh. I love it. It's so cool. I'm a big like, fan! That is yeah. OG Kit Bus art, the original yeah, art. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we have Top. that, we have this awesome long sleeve box mocking shirt that's got all of our character icons down the sleeves. I'm doing a bad job showing that off. Um, we have drinkware. Ooh. Ooh. We have you are holding the uh, Liam O'Brien available now. We have now. Liam O'Brien. 
Ryan. So we have a new yeah. Traveler Con t-shirt coming out there. Oh, that's we have, awesome. I love it. We have an awesome, this is the Hugo artwork for yeah. our blanket. Nice. And then we also have our amazing Yasha blanket. Oh, oh yeah. God, look at this. Wrap yourself up. We got, oh, so we got. They're so smushy. I can't see them do it at the same time. <laughs> We yeah. got fucking hands. That's stuff. that's Ooh, our nice. yes. Mm. That's yes. Yeah. So yeah, so there's uh, a lot. I think I, that might be everything. And you already held up the the backpack. I blew it. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. This is a backpack hanger. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and Good there's save. other things. Save, yes. Yeah. And there are there's, there's you mirror dice. There's totally. a journal. But, yeah. Oh wait, I didn't hold up the journal. Wait, give me a second. Oh. Oh, there's a, oh, a really? critical <gasps> journal. Wait, yeah, wait, what are the tabs? Are, what are, are those tabs tabbies? Already there. They're, yeah, the tabs are going to be included, so you can Picker. open it to, like, you know. Uh, Why didn't you leave with this? Oh. this? Yeah, it's, we'll oh, yeah, I know. I should have had you hold this one up, Marisha. I need it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, there's awesome stuff coming out. Check Life it out. Bling. Oh, oh, yeah. What? Wait, are we going to somebody else before I talk about my next thing? I don't think so. Okay, then I'm gonna say my so Go ahead, Please. Laura. <laughs> <laughs> We've never done this before. <laughs> Boy, think of all the money this company saves on rehearsal. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh my God. So I always talk about merch items and everything like that, but because we do pre-record a lot of these episodes, um, it's not always, I can't give you the, the most up-to-date merch stuff because sometimes it's out of stock by the time we actually air. So I'm just gonna tell you guys to keep checking out shop.critroll.com and hint, hint, we usually post new things every Thursday morning. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's not in the announcement, uh, and there's a reason that it, it didn't say to talk like that. Um, <laughs> but yes, oh. and we we have new stuff coming out to all the shops, including we're gonna do the full run of the Vox Machina dice. Oh, um, yeah, all yeah. of the different characters are gonna have a full dice set, so check in for that. It should be showing up soon. All right, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> and bail. Before she starts juggling and doing fireworks. Yeah. Shoot. Oh my goodness. Thank, <laughs> thank you, Laura. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. Uh, well oiled machine. <laughs> Damn, you have been busy. Yeah. Um, I believe so those are all of our announcements. So, yeah. let's go ahead and jump into tonight's episode of <laughs> Critical Role. <laughs> And welcome back. <laughs> yes, Sam, we're back. So last we left off, the Mighty Nine making their way northward to Isil Cross. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> wow. This is gonna be. It's gonna be a good night. The energy's already all sorts of weird. Uh, Die. <laughs> the Mighty Nine had made their way northward, hired by Vesta Rogna, and then she died. So, <laughs> they, however, continued with their guide, Dagon, to lead them through 
the path preset by Vess towards the excavation of the ruins of Aeor, <coughs> heading a couple of the smaller excavations along the way. Along this path, you met with dangers and some strange encounters with Lucian and the rest of the Tomb Takers. In the A5 excavation site, after fighting your way down, you caught up to them where they had, uh, it seemed, procured a large threshold crest object. And after a brief conversation, continued their trek northward with an invitation to follow suit should you wish to learn more. You guys then headed back out into the frozen wastes with a couple of choice encounters that involved turning dangerous things into turtles and really not having it be dangerous at all, um, you continued your trek. And at the end of the second day, we left with you transforming three of your party into giant eagles, picking up the remainder of your troop and flying best you could for as long as you could over the central mountain range that would normally bisect the paths northward to A2. So, Mighty Nine, as you continue trekking for the continued hour, which at full speed, I think it's somewhere in the neighborhood of like eight miles an hour, but if you go full speed, about 16 miles an hour, you can get quite a bit of distance as giant eagles and kind of definitely help kick up that lead that you're hoping to gain upon the Tomb Takers and their journey northward. So I take it you're going for the entire hour? Are you going yes, full speed? I imagine, yes, we will go full Good. speedies. Um, what is the, like, if you're walking in snow, what's your speed you're normally at? Uh, without uh, Dagon taking you along, it would be half speed. Um, but because of his guidance and his uh, his knowledge of the space, and honestly, kind of digging a groove through a lot of the snow and ice himself for you to follow in suit, um, <coughs> it's pretty easy for you to get around comparatively. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think we should just full on geese as long as. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just follow uh, Caleb and Yasha's lead with how fast they go. Fair enough. So, a fair amount of distance. We have Dagon with us, right? You do. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Somebody's carrying him. Yeah, I'll, Yasha. I'll, Yasha is carrying. I am carrying. I think it was Caleb, wasn't it? It's whatever we said yes, last. You game. are yeah. carrying right. Dagon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're carrying Dagon. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. I'm carrying you and Ford. Mm -hmm. And you're carrying Caduceus Hempa. Yes. You got it. Yes. Great. All right. That is. So, the journey for an hour going at full speed like this, at the end of it, a creature would need to rest. Uh, at least for an hour, a short rest to recover. Um, technically, because polymorph, anything and any exhaustion or damage that the eagle form would have sustained goes away with the eagle form. I don't know if you need to rest after that at the end of the transformation. Depending on how many spell slots you have per day, too, you can cover quite a bit of ground, which will. Definitely uh, lessen the impact of the random tables, but where's the fun in that? <laughs> um, <clears throat> but nevertheless, by the time you finish your first run as eagles um, and push a little bit further into travel, the day slowly begins to lose light. Um, the gray sky seems to be growing darker, not just from the lack of sunlight, but it seems to be a, a cold front and a heavy Blizzard seems to be creeping on the horizon from the northeastern direction. But as you land, you could continue on for a bit, but you're now in the middle of the mountain range. So on foot here is going to be a problem based on the journey you guys were taking. Well, why would we even bother with that? Yeah. Yeah, I can continue. If you think it's safe to keep flying. Oh no! What? I can't polymorph Yasha too. I can only do it once a day. Oh. Ooh, 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 that still gave us gave us a bit of time, and, and honestly, if there's going to be a storm hitting, we should probably find a safe place, even for the tower. Hunker down for in. A, is it dark enough that we should take that again? Is it dark enough that we should take cover tonight? Uh, looking around, we probably got about uh, forty or fifty or so minutes before it gets real pitch. Yeah. Well, let's just. Uh, Lay down stakes here. Find a place where we won't get snowed in in the morning. Yeah, and then in the morning, we can polymorph again and, and we can get us out of the mountain range at least so that, you know, we can travel on foot. Can we um, poke about a bit until we find uh, something like a crevice or something sheltered from the elements somewhat? I think I found something. Okay. Follow me. <laughs> and, uh, Good work, Tagen. Rangers, man. Uh. <laughs> 
I've been around here for a while. Follow suit, and he goes ahead and leads you down. You could see uh, the section where you landed, which was part of a kind of a smaller valley in the more jagged points of this small kind of mountain hill range. Uh, you can see he leads you into a small outcropping where there is a probably an eight foot indentation into the stone. Um, and based on the smoothing of the ice, it looks like something of some element of warmth had made this a home temporarily for a while. Most of the ice around here looks rough and the snow built up there, but there was like a smooth kind of concave little alcove. This is perfect. Uh, one gets jammed into the snow and I uh, take a moment and before long, the door opens and we have our home again. Yay. All right. You make your way into the tower, prepare yourselves for an evening's rest. If there's anything you wish to do before the night's done, you can speak up, otherwise we'll move on to the following day. Yeah. All righty. So, after a night's rest, some fine food, some fine uh, not freezing <laughs> sleep, um, the morning comes to, you gather your supplies, and heading back out of the door where you entered, you find yourself back at the center of this kind of mountainous valley in that same alcove. It is freezing cold now, and you can see there's quite a bit of snow has built up overnight. There is still a snow falling. It looks like the heavy part of the blizzard did pass over as you guys were resting, um, but as the doorway opens to the exterior of the tower, immediately snow kind of <laughs> tumbles in from the entryway, yep. and uh, Dagon has to kind of push his way through <laughs> as you guys are, are waking up and getting prepared to leave. He's like, oh, this might be a problem. Goes ahead and sets down his uh, his little like, glider metal front bits and pushes through, and eventually you guys all manage to exit without an issue. Just throwing snow around the room while he's trying to clear it out, just yeah. to have as much fun as possible before it's no longer and inside. 50 cats come out of the holes in the walls and just like that. <laughs> <laughs> One of them gets like brain freeze and it's like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. What it's a shame. <laughs> 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 oh God. Like those ping pong ball mouth traps. Yep. <laughs> oh no. Perfect. Uh, like, like twisting bubble wrap. <laughs> but as you guys are all kind of there, adjusting to the the, the extremely brisk temperature uh, comparison to where you would slept the night before, uh, Dagon kind of spins around. And is, so uh, we're going. We're taking to the sky again, right? I'm not leading well, for all this bullshit. Point of point of thought: Do we want to burn that many spells now or at the end of the day? Well, unfortunately, it's it's going to ruin the day if we try to get through this mountain. Oh, we want to get point. off of this peak. Yeah, yeah what she say? <clears throat> Everything I'll will burn be fine. this spell. It's okay. Oh, we have lots of problems, right? We have. <laughs> What's the weather like? <clears throat> Frightful. Uh, it's it's not blizzarding, but it is snowing. Um, not like a gentle snow. It's it's a heavier snow, but it's not it's not stormy. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's so. Uh, evil yeah, time. What we're we doing? Again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> evil time. You don't, you don't, <laughs> Laura, you, you seems to be excited at the prospect call up, do you? <laughs> Uh, we don't see anything around. I do us, actually. Right? Okay. We want to do a sweep of just the yeah, general landscape. Um, sure. I think I had it prepared yesterday, right. so. I'll assist Keep Caduceus mind. with a sweep Just of the landscape case. to make sure everything's clear. Am I okay? Yeah, I guess I'm looking. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> right. Ford grabs the scruff of your outfit and just kind of holds you in a direction. <laughs> How's it look? Perception beam. <laughs> yeah. It's like the, the Caduceus hooded lantern. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and make a perception with advantage. With advantage? No. Yeah, because he's helping. Okay. By pushing you in that direction. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's nice. 28. 28, yeah. okay. Um, glancing about, and the, the snowfall does obscure some of your vision, especially beyond about a 60 to 70 foot distance. You do catch on one of the nearby ridges, you glance up and you see like a, a bit of, of darker kind of black color, and you focus on it and you see a set of dark eyes. There's something up there. And you glance over and you see it shift out of the direction, and then a little bit over past the next ridge, you can see what looks to be about five or six wolves that are all kind of circling. Oh, they're wolves. They're gonna, they're doing the thing. Werewolves. They're wolves. Oh. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> stupid. Yeah, <I> stupid. <laughs> 
Have we already become eagles <clears throat> while they're looking? He did. <laughs> he did. We're up. Ah! Mr. Van oh yeah, I went. We should. We West should probably get okay. a move on. Okay. Yeah. What are <laughs> now. eagles? All right. Whoa. Yeah. So as, as you grasp the rest of the party in the same arrangement, I assume, as the previous yep. day's travel, yep. um, immediately <laughs> you all begin to lift up uh, roughly the same time. And as you pull up away, once again, you have a, a, an incredible, now better lit overall view of the treacherous mountainous terrain that you plop down in the middle of. Um, you can see some uh, scattering elements of trees and pine, but other than that, falling from this height would be terrible because a lot of the uh, the rock and exposed ice tends to come to a rather jagged point facing upward. But you can see immediately where you were, beyond what you can initially see, about uh, 14 wolves had begun to circle where you had arrived, and they all kind of look up as you take off, and you imagine the frustration. It, it's really for the best. You're, it's, <laughs> it wouldn't have gone well for anybody. They can, they can understand me. They can. It makes me really happy. They can. <laughs> <laughs> the best so, part. You, f you feel good that at least you've notified them that it's no hard feelings. No. Uh, but nevertheless, pushing on ahead for the next hour of travel, that'll get you another 16 miles. Oh, yeah. great. Um, Were we just uh, at the mountain mountains that are that the Alawax Sanctuary is at the foot of? Is that where we were? Alawax Sanctuary is to the west of this mountain range. Oh, okay. And then the uh, the Lava River is to the east. To the east, sorry, it's it's west for the for the sanctuary, and then east for the river, and you either choose one path or the other, and you guys decided, no, fuck it, we'll go over. So that's oh. what you did. Yep. Okay. All so right. we aren't going through Yeti Yeti Village. No. No, you guys are you guys are flying in between, basically taking a straight line. Okay. Uh, and we're still shot south of where the flow shift would be on the map. Correct. Yeah. In fact, at, with with the eagles travel, you're getting some some time in there. You you wouldn't make it all the way to the beyond the mountain range, but you will make it towards the decline and kind of the, the safer region to hike down. Um, so, early in the day, as soon as you you sense the spell duration begin to fade, the eagles all together, one following the other, probably following Caleb since you transformed first and would sense it before anybody else, begin to descend exactly. And he goes and glances down. You hear him shouting over the wind around you, blowing past. He's like, "I think right there is probably the safest place. <laughs> you can't see me because <laughs> let's go down. That's the safest place, right over there. <clears throat> nice. To the right. To the right. A little to the left. Little little left. left. <laughs> Guiding you verbally as you guys begin to make your way down. Like a ship. I love it. Right, right before. Yeah. The spell duration ends. You safely come to rest on a, a small cliffside that begins to head into kind of like a a relatively dangerous switchback pathway, natural switchback pathway, with some gaps, but uh, traversable. And uh, as soon as you all land and go back into your forms, Dagon's kind of glancing over for a bit and just kind of biting the edge of his thumb and goes, "I think we can make this work." All right. Keep up. And begins to wheel himself towards the edge of the first walkway downward. Any preparation you guys want to do before beginning to descend uh, uh, this side of the mountain range? Dagon. What? How long would it have taken to walk this far? This far probably would have taken an additional day of travel, if not a little more. That's great. <clears throat> That's very good. If the map is any indication, we're roughly just shy of completing <clears throat> a third of our way to A2. Good work. Yeah, two hours of work, and that day is not too bad. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, so. Uh, uh, how are we getting down the mountain? Are we sledding down? <laughs> we are. Well, some of you are walking. I'm sledding, I'm wheeling, can, and then we'll climb down where it's necessary. Can we make like a big sled or something for, for all of us? I mean, you're welcome to. I ain't getting in that shit. Uh, There's no like trees around here, right? I don't yeah. know. Can we have a you, paint on? Is there any paint on? Not <clears throat> any no. fauna. <laughs> uh, there, there are scattered trees. Um, <laughs> it's nowhere near as dense as some of the Empire uh, <laughs> mountains, and you can see a lot of them are kind of <laughs> finding nooks and crannies. They're not entirely exposed to the elements, the dangers, of the blizzard that would come through and, and eventually kill there them. Any all. like rare cold mountain flowers <laughs> uh, growing on a cliff Make a nature check. You mean like rocks? No, like a flower. Exclusive. Rocks are the like flowers a of the mountain. Flower. Like a fucking flower, dude. Fifteen. Fifteen? You, you wouldn't be able to recall much for this far north. <laughs> um, 
You know, I don't see anything. Uh, that, that, that was just recalling if there would be anything up ah. here. Yeah. Uh, if you want to look specifically for anything, make a perception check. If you find something, can I guide her? I can't guide her, can I? I don't know. Okay, okay. She's just 19. 19. Yeah. Uh, On this part of the mountain range, you don't really see much in the way of of gentle uh, fauna. Okay. Flora or fauna. Uh, You do see some bare trees. You can see some of the taller pines that kind of push through the nooks and crannies of this mountainside. Uh, Tend to are bald in some places where it looks like heavy blizzard or storms may have stripped elements away, but. Nothing in particular what you're looking for. Mm. So, you traveling on? I believe I make so. a fucking sled. <laughs> want to make a sled? <laughs> what would we? What would we use? Do we have any extra like cloaks? Wait, is, that, is, that's a, not is a sled. A sled just for you, or a sled for everybody? Here, you want to sit on my shield? Yeah, take the shield. That's what shields are. Just your shield. I Both of their shields are big enough for you to sled on. Yeah, I think we have to. an extra one in the bag of holding. I might have an extra shield. Perfectly good way to endanger ourselves unnecessarily. Yeah, <laughs> you get really fast. Believe me. <clears throat> I have an extra shield. All right, I'll take your shield. Let's do it. <laughs> He's probably the only one who hasn't seen Willow in this room. <laughs> That's so That's true. I've seen Willow. <laughs> you have? have you? My kids just watched it oh, a few, a few weeks ago. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Best, uh, be, best Falcon roll ever. <laughs> yep, so here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's heavy. It's, it's a little heavy. <laughs> All right. Uh, so as you take the shield and kind of walk up to the edge of the cliff where you saw Dagon's already making his way down, um, it's steep and rocky. With trees. Um, <laughs> that's not like, like a, like I, was, a, I was picturing like a gentle slope. No, no, no I think it's like a double thing. black diamond. Like yeah. you're the yeah. asshole that walks up yeah, it's <laughs> with the cooking tray, and you're like, no problem. Yeah, the, the Empire kids don't vacation up north here to ride down for the holiday. Uh, <laughs> this, they're still on foot another like hour to an hour and a half of travel before you reach the base of the mountain. Uh, so an I'll hour just, and a half I'll sled ride? The, I'll give the shield back. Uh-huh. No, it would be like a once we're closer, like a four-minute sled ride, and whatever remains of you when you get to the bottom. <laughs> Very yeah. little to break with, but I think you should. Once once we're a safe distance down, <laughs> it'll be yeah. time. I'll, I'll, there will be a moment where you will be able to sled. Just I would recommend not doing it right now. Oh no, no, you're what making if, me want to do it. What if I turn her into a fish first? <laughs> It's I hate before. you so much. Why me? Why is it turned on to me? I was like a second ago. 13 in that headshot, man. Oh, you're so 14. Funny. Oh, wow. I don't know. Is that before? I don't even oh, know how old I was. That. It, lo- it's a head- it looks like a drawing I still from lived in Kentucky. That. Okay, yeah. that was when I was working for Actors Theater of Louisville. That's how old no. that shit is. I can, yeah. I, can, I can still see the unbroken dreams. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, see, see all the hope still yeah. in my eyes? It's great. They were Ford illusion of like Ford sword. <laughs> so, traveling down yeah. the mountainside. Cautiously behind it. Um, I'm going to cast Death Ward on myself because I've, I've, seen, <laughs> I've seen too much in the last couple episodes. <laughs> I got eight hours. Fair enough. <laughs> No. <laughs> the journey is not that treacherous, especially thanks to uh, Dagon leading you through. There are a couple moments in the, the mountainside where a, a rope has to be affixed and you all lower yourselves down uh, before tugging or cutting it off. But as you make your way further, there is, at the end of the first hour of travel on foot, a moment where you, Veth, think dangerously, but possibly, there is a sledable hill to the bottom. Oh, oh we've reached we, we've reached that moment. Yes, you have. Caduceus, Mr. Clay, thank you. Mm-hmm. Hey, uh, is there one side that's like, <laughs> is it teardrop shaped? Is it? No, it's round, but it's got some some grooves, so it'll it'll move in a direction. All right, all right. I'll position it in a. You want to push? Be careful, because when I did it before, my my shield is circular too, and in you tend to. Sp- Spin really easy, and then you can get a real good. Okay. Here, I'll hold the back so you can you can get on. Maybe I can. Um, uh, what do I have? What do I have? Let's see here. Oh God, how dumb! <laughs> do you have anything that could act as a rudder? Oh, that's what I'm looking for. Right? Yeah. No, mm-hmm. such a bad idea. Following us. Oh no. Uh, what do you want to do? How dumb do we want to? Be? You know what? I have. I have. Um, Pretty dumb. Beauregard's wind fan. <gasps> oh, so maybe oh. I could like. Never mind. 
like that. use it as like a like a like in Florida those yeah, those yeah, like yeah. those wind nope. sails those winds those those those, those swamp Parasail. boats that have like the oh, rudder oh. on the yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, the, oh, the big ass fan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't know, hovercraft. like a wind rudder. Yeah, you can try yeah, it. Sure. Yeah. A fan boat. Okay. Yeah, fan oh, boat. Boy. Sure. All right. So you you position your fan. You get right to the edge, and it's that like slow scoot. And right, you get to that fulcrum point where it begins to rotate, and that voice in the back of your head begins to regret everything that led to this moment. Mm -hmm. But it's too late now because right you begin she takes to tip forward. I'm going to just pat her on the back and say, May the traveler guide you. Oh. And I'm going to give her guidance on the way down. Okay. Mm -hmm. So one roll you get. So there's, there's one moment where you're like, You know what? I'm not going to do this, right? As you begin to, to back up, <laughs> Jester goes, and gives you one little <laughs> shove on the back, and you immediately <laughs> coasting down oh at an incredible speed. The wind has already kind of numbed the edge of your nose and ears, just traveling down the side, but now your whole face is numb. Your eyes are beginning to water and freeze on the edges. You're just like, ah, ah, making your way down. Uh, making your way down. Immediately, it begins to spin to one side, and you can see there's a cluster of trees heading up your way. What do you do? I'm going to fan, fan left. Fan left. <laughs> you coast to the side as you do. The snow <laughs> sprays off the back, and suddenly you're given even more force than you expected before. As you do, you actually coast off the snow for a second. <gasps> Impact <laughs> hard. <laughs> as you do, you're, you're now kind of scooting towards. You see what looks to be a, a, a bit of a, a, a turn, oh, but God. the speed that you have is setting you in a position where you you can bank it, maybe, but you're not sure what's beyond it. You can't really tell how it goes. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna wait. So if I continue, I'll be sort of flying up and over. Somewhere. To whatever, to whatever's beyond that. And if I yeah. can, I try to make the turn. Okay, I'm gonna try to lean hard oh, and God. fan, fan right. Yeah. Yeah, fan right. <laughs> all right, all right. Go ahead and make an acrobatics check for okay. me. Okay. And you get an added D4 to that. Oh, you thank do. God. This would be the way. <laughs> Four, yeah. two, six. Well, don't Slide forget, you also accident. can't roll lower than ten. <laughs> oh, that's right. Because um, acrobatics, well you do have uh, trained. You're totally <laughs> right. So that's a 22. 22. As you scoot along, you pull the fan to the side, and you guys watch as snow just sprays off. And for a second, you're afraid you lost not, and then you see the shape of her against the white snow now coasting in the opposite direction. Turn around, scoot. <laughs> Should we be giving chase at all? I know she's going to be down there for a while, waiting for us. Let's just see down. how this plays out. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn to the opposite side. You can see there's now a cluster of trees in your path, <laughs> and you you can try maneuver through. I'm going to definitely try to maneuver through. <laughs> okay, go ahead and make three acrobatics checks for me, okay, please. It says on D and D Beyond, D and D Beyond, um, that uh, there's a little green A next to acrobatics. Does that mean I get advantage all the time? Time, or what is that? No, that's A means advantage. Okay. Do you have anything that gives you advantage in acrobatics normally? I is don't know. A, is it a halfling it's thing? There. Is it a rogue thing? It just says I there's A next to it always. Concentration. I don't know. Well, did you feed into it? Eh, it's fine. We're fine. Until you <laughs> until you discover what that is, it doesn't apply to this. <laughs> <Great>. So <laughs> great. Uh, all right, here we go. Four acrobatics checks. Three. Three. Okay. Fourteen. Fourteen. 14. And a one. <gasps> no, you but can't roll lower than a You can't roll lower than a For sure, for sure. So that becomes a ten. A ten. Yeah. Uh that's a ten plus your So 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 the fourteen is a twenty-four, the fourteen is a twenty-four, and the ten is a twenty. There you go. Oh god. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What? You, hey, uh, Jesus. you were designed yeah. for this shit. Uh you're hit the A. Th thankfully your your smaller so halfling hard. size means that you're a little more aerodynamic. Uh the wind fan helping guide you from behind like a fan boat. Uh, and you knowing how to adjust your weight and positioning as you've been doing that for a good portion of your life to be unseen and to not make any sound, you lean back and find yourself dodging like between trees. A couple of them you actually kind of pinball off of, ping, ping, until eventually the trees vanish, and all you see is this, like what you think is a, is a gradual decline. You're like, oh, cool, and then you realize it's a fast approaching cliff edge. <gasps> I got a veil. Oh no! Oh! You are in the air. Oh! <laughs> yes! No. I know I should. There should is about it again. a 50 foot drop. <gasps> okay. Okay, that's no 50. big deal for you. No big deal. I need you to go ahead and make one more acrobatics check to see if you can land properly. Stick that oh shit, Sean God, White. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. This is a higher DC, so. By the way, I don't I don't get 
advantage. That's only uh, advantage on escape from being grappled. Gotcha. Ah. Come on, Lindsay Vaughn, Super G. Let's do it. That's a 10. <laughs> do I still get your guidance? No. 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 Okay, so that's a 20. That's a 20? Uh, so. Oh no. Oh no. I want a vet shaped hole in the snow. You watch as as in the middle of the air, Veth kind of like kicks out the shield a bit, trying to pull some of that Yasha skin gorge or <laughs> snowboarding action, and the shield just kind of fitters out of your grasp. Oh no! It's, it's just me and a fan? I'm going to like yep. fan down. See who <laughs> can do so, from, your, from the rest of your perspective, you know that moment where the Wiley e. Coyote like plummets off the cliff edge, and there's just like the cloud. Oh no! That impact. You just see a snow. You see. You, you just see a snow ploof go. <laughs> you You're thankfully kidding. it's snow where you impact, so you don't take any damage. Oh. But there's a moment where your whole body is just locked in ice cold, freezing temperature, oh. and you scramble up about seven feet of snow <laughs> to get back to a surface. And you survived. Hey! Fred Pow! <laughs> that is so dangerous. You could have suffocated in all that snow. Totally. Yeah, totally. But don't that was that. awesome! We see Perfect Whoa. 10! From our height, we just saw it. We don't know. Yep, yep. I know. Oh, okay, she's, so we just, she's fine, right? Yeah, we should, she's we should make sure she's. We should yeah. head down. I mean, yeah. Should we do the same? I don't know. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm next. And Dagon goes ahead and wheels himself off yeah. the edge of the cliff the same way that uh, that Veth did uh, with his like front attachments. It, and you've seen him use for the, almost the entire journey here, especially in areas when you're going down hills and such. He is full on ski sliding down the side of the mountain. Nice. You hear him yelling. Whoa! As he like pulls to one side and skins the spray this way, pulls to this side, off this way. He's old hat. He's come across this place, and without issue, you see him make his way down the edge of the mountain up to the point of the cliff, and <gasps> lands it without issue until eventually you see him come to the very base and spin around and then turn back and just go. Woo! <laughs> yeah! You hear the voice yes! echo up the side of the mountain. Is Beth okay? I shout down to him. Hey, hey. Mostly! <laughs> hey, hey. Oh, yeah, she's fine. Yeah. We're going right, to set off an avalanche. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Oh. Sure, it's possible. All right, her shot. Like crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, this is the only way down, right? Yeah. Is it? Here, I'll just fire off my pistol to let you, you know that I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll take out Skin Gorger and get it ready, like, you know, at the top of a ramp. <laughs> All right. Go down. Go down. Following the same path, the previously carved by your two friends, uh, makes it a little easier because some of the snow's been broken up. Um, go ahead and make, for the purposes of this, two acrobatics checks for me. Okay. Um, okay, so that would be. Wait, did you say acrobatics or athletics? Actually, it'd be one or the other. So for okay. you, it'd probably be athletics. Okay, so first one is a 26. Ooh. Second one is uh, 24. It's like you've been doing this your whole life. Uh, <laughs> it, it was made easier because your friends went beforehand, nevertheless, without having to swerve so heavily left or right with the wind fan blowing you a little bit off course, uh, you find the same gentle path, uh, comparatively, that uh, Dagon had made his way down with, and when you eventually get to that final bit, you lift off the cliff, holding the air, and then Impact. It's it's soft, but you catch it with the edge of skin gorger, and then glide the rest of the way down. You have now kind of climbed your way out. You're like, <laughs> oh, so it's not. When you watch as Yasha lands about two feet in front of you and sprays snow back onto your face, cover all the snow. You know. I mean, we've got shields. Yolo. Yeah, going down. <laughs> Yolo. Yolo. Classic wild mother adage. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna, gonna try, try and. Him down at the bottom. I'm gonna try and. On my shield. Uh, so you're both going. At yeah, the same I'm gonna cut around and like try and sit on it and use this my staff. We just kinda, start walking. Kinda, yeah, let's just walk. Yeah, okay. yeah. Two, two acrobatics <laughs> checks. Uh, <laughs> no, for you it would be three because you haven't done this before. Okay, I'm into it. You've you've done this once before, and I'm bad. Well, we have. We funny. sledded. We sledded before on our shields. Uh, <laughs> that one time at the yeah, temple. That one time that we did it. And I nearly died. Yeah. yeah okay. That time. That doesn't count, does it? All right. So first pass for each of you. Fourteen. Ooh. Acrobatics. Yes, or athletics. Your choice. T t t t Twelve. 
I'm <laughs> I'm going to uh, give myself some guidance just in case. Okay. Uh, well, the first pass is you both begin to to head down with extreme speed and prejudice. Immediately, the winds past you. The bits of light snow that still fall on me and pelting you in the face. Uh, Caduceus putting your staff out behind to kind of use almost like a rudder. You grind past and turn to the left, and you narrowly avoid being smashed into by Jester, who is unable to turn quite as gracefully. <laughs> and, oh boy! And while while you. Didn't bail from the shield. You do have disadvantage in your next check. Oh, so no. second pass in each of you. Roll another <laughs> athletics or acrobatics. <laughs> oh, that's good. Disadvantage. Don't forget. I know. I know. I did it. It's my okay. advantage roller. Okay. Ah, ah. Fourteen. Fourteen again. Well, that one's gone. Well done. <laughs> Burn it. <laughs> Touch the ground. Uh, Twenty-one. 21, Ooh. nice, nice. So as you begin to spin around the corner where you saw uh, Veth bank initially, and uh, Yasha kind of use with a little more acumen, um, it doesn't cause much of an issue, and you you barely scoot, you almost kind of glide off the edge. Oh boy. But you manage to just barely crest, which you have just enough of a view as you bank off the side to glance over the side, and it is a sheer rock cliff on the opposite Ooh. end. Yeah, no. And as you spin by, you watch as Jester cuts you off and is now about three or four oh, feet ahead of you. Oh, oh no. And you're now Just heading. Oh, I'm not doing that. She's that friend at go karts. <laughs> <laughs> She's that guy. Yeah. Turbo I'm that guy. Yeah, you are. No. <laughs> Nana feel behind me. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> so now, as both of you are coming towards the cluster of trees, following Yasha's path uh, and. Both actually both had pretty decent passive perception to be able to follow kind of the path that Veth and Yasha had had previously cut into. Probably Yasha, since being larger and a little more, no offense, skilled at this portion of it. Sure, sure. Um, <laughs> make one more check for each of you. Oh boy. Come on. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, I didn't even guide myself this time. Nope. Seven. Right. Eleven. Hey. hey! So the rest of you are watching as they shh, bank off the side and catch up and scoop by. And off the side. They both go woo and go into the, the cluster of trees. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Our healers. They're not, <laughs> they're not making it out the other side there. Uh, both of you. Eight points of bludgeoning damage, oh, okay, nine okay. points of bludgeoning damage as okay. <laughs> as you watch Caduceus just that could be bad. wham into like the edge of a tree. It doesn't catch him a full on, but it catches him in the shoulder and he goes spinning off of his shield and both eventually kind of begin slowly kind of haphazardly sliding through the forest. <laughs> you laugh for a second, kind of glancing over your shoulder as he totally biffs, and then whack, you hit a smaller tree that sends you flying off the shield, ass over tea kettle before poof into the snow, your shield Poof, lands over on its side, and both of you are now like kind of gently gliding side by side through. Like when you fall on a mobile. As we're like pro, and I'm just gonna high five him. And you slowly make your way towards the cliff <laughs> now. Oh, oh, stop, 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 oh, yeah, stop, stop. Dig in for that. I'm gonna hold on to him as he digs in. Yeah, dig okay. <laughs> because you guys did lose momentum, it's easy enough to stop as you dig in, and you both kind of come to the edge of the cliff. And it's about a, a 45, 50 foot drop before the next snowbank. You guys, I'm, I'm going to pick up my shield, and I guess we'll just yeah, yeah, same. Okay. How do we get down? <laughs> I mean, we could wait for the others. Yeah, let's okay, wait. Let's just yeah, wait. that's fine. It looked so graceful. Nice job. Did you break any bones? Did I win? I beat him, right? I beat the Caduceus. There's no winner here today. <laughs> All right, so the rest of you are walking down. I'm just trudging down. <laughs> okay, so you, at the, those are the bottom. You get to wait about 25 or so minutes for the rest of the group to catch up, but nevertheless, you all gather at the foot of the mountain range and you know, have, you have yeah, a fairly hilly but open, less mountainous journey ahead of you <laughs> onwards towards A5. Before everybody leaves, a puffin circles down from the sky <laughs> and just lands on Ford's shoulder. A, a puffin? Ah, uh, what is this? What? What is this thing? Oh, is that Roll initiative. Is it an orange puffin? <laughs> is it orange? Just around the beak here. It's Caleb. Oh, Jesus! Peck, 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 ah, peck, ah, peck. ah, ah! Not the ear, please. <laughs> this is odd. Uh. Can you understand me? Meh. <laughs> 
<laughs> We're sure it's Caleb, Forget, right? Caleb gets real stupid when he polymorphs. Oh, Caleb, right. you understand him. <laughs> <laughs> I take that as a yes. Like a strong feed. I'm, I'm right. put him up on my hand like oh, his bow, like... and I put him on Bo's head. Oh, why the head? It gets, ah! <laughs> ah! Uh. You totally did not just shit on your head. <laughs> It'll be cold enough in a minute, you can just crack it right out. It shouldn't be a problem. Oh. Yeah, sure, good point. It's the best place for me to shit on your head, to be honest. <laughs> Alrighty. The sentence you said to me, Liam O'Brien. <laughs> I had a nickel. <laughs> You've heard it. Dagging rounds, yep. All right, back on the road. <laughs> Leads on forward. Uh, I need someone to roll for the next day's journey, since you are oh, out. We're, we're, I know, I feel like we, we left it all the way around. I did the worm, I created the... Oh, okay, so it's Bullet my yeah. and cheers. Oh, okay, go, Jester. It's my turn. What am I rolling, a 20? 20. A d20 for me, please. Hold parchment shears, but make sure you do it with three people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 17? <Huh>? 17. <laughs> Idiot. The weather for this day clears up. It seems the storm from the night before has blown through. There is an actual blue sky above, which you think would bring warmth, but if anything, it just brings comfort. Uh, it's still chilly, but you, following Dagon's lead, managed to maneuver through this snowy tundra region with little patches of trees growing lesser and lesser the further north you go, and manage to avoid seemingly any other dangerous encounters along the way. So, nice. that's a good journey there. You caught some time. You, you, you have a little over three days now at this point before you make your way to uh, A2. Three oh, wow. days. Three days out, okay. okay. So Is there anyone before, that we need to check in on? Just in the world. Before we go to sleep too, I'm going to cast Locate Creature. When can we talk to a? I mean, we've still got a lot of day left, don't we? Or yeah, are we just walking? No. Well, like you, you guys, you guys are walking, but like I'm, I'm just going through the events of the oh, day. That was the if day. there's anything you want to do during the day, you can do it. Yes. Okay. But there were no encounters that found you I on this part of the covered my so we can't, we can't talk to Vess yet again, right? So Wait, it's got to be uh, close, though. Oh, yeah, close. I think we're pretty close. We had like I think we only had two days left last game. Yeah, that's right. We were saying two more days. Yeah, yeah. So maybe one more night, one and then we'll night. be able to do it tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> and is there anyone else that we needed, that we wanted to check in on, or? I mean, I talked to Essek. I could, I could um, send a message to the Plant King for you, Ford. Oh my God. No, um, no, 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 no. Just to, you know, to see if he'll let us back on Darktoe. I think if we go back to Darktoe, we're going to do it in a clandestine fashion. Rather, better not to, you know, tip him off that we're even thinking about him. Got it. Are we being scried on right now, by the way? Oh, good question. I'll uh, summon the sword and say, Galas va, and see invisibility. All right. Make a perception check. Thank you. Nice. Uh, 22. Feeling fairly confident in the scan around you, you do not see any signs of a peeking beacon or arcane eye looking upon you or the troop around you. Seems clear. How 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 strong of a radius does this necklace have? Oh, how long have you had that on? Um, Ford gave it to me because apparently, you know, Molly had been, I mean, Lucian had been um, scrying on. It's it's your person and everything on you. It's not like if everybody within five feet of well, me or something. Well, it seemed to have somewhat of an effect uh, on my general vicinity. A few times in the past, it felt like. Okay. It's a little hazy. So everybody just stay really close to me. Speaking of your person and everything on it, I think when you sledded, you might have dropped your weasel friend. It's no, not... no, 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 he's right here. Oh, oh. Yeah, he was just right. hiding in my hood. Oh, okay. He absorbed most of the impact from the tree. <laughs> 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 yeah, you, you would know Caleb. One of those eyes. Um, <laughs> the device, it, it protects the, the wearer from directly focused divination. Mm -hmm. Um, so if somebody were to want to say, like, I want to scry on Caleb, no. it would prevent that. Them. That I know. Yeah. I just have, in our story, early days, there was some scrying on us, and I asked if I could wave it into a similar scrying ball, which made it go away. So mm, yeah, I thought we had a little bit of wiggle. A little bit of wiggle, but it depends on the on the nature of it. Yeah. 
Person specific. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, uh, anything else? Anybody wants to? Oh yeah. Anybody? Do we want to talk to anybody? Do you want to talk to Yeza and Luke? I mean, yeah. If we if we don't have if we have spells to burn, just just say just say you know, wife's okay, still alive. Okay. I'm gonna send a message to Yaza. Okay. Yaza, everything's fine. Beth's okay. She loves you so much. How are you guys? How's Luke? It's cold here. She loves you. Did I already say that? Yeah. No, that's okay. Could be more than one. His response. Oh, uh, hi. Uh, that that's great. Thanks for the update. Uh, we're good. I think Luke has a crush. Um, but. <laughs> Everything's good. Oh. Kill him. <laughs> <laughs> who, who would, he's so young. What does that mean? Wait, how, how old is he, actually? It's unclear. <laughs> 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 I thought three, but now I'm thinking closer to 13. <laughs> <laughs> not quite, not quite. <laughs> like five now, or? But a five-year-old could take a shine. Yeah, the halfling, yeah. you know yeah. what, Bo? The halfling aging right. process yeah, yeah, is a mystery sure. <laughs> to all. But I remember, you know, I remember being, you know, infatuated with people, like six, seven years old. Who were you infatuated with as a six-year-old? Did you have, like, you're from a fancy wine family, right? Yeah. Did you have tutors and stuff, or did you, like, how did you learn? I went to, like, a fancy private school that I don't no one really liked me much because I came from the rich family of the town, so that, yeah, little ostracized there was weird. So then who did you... Fancy. Who did you make googly eyes at? You know, it's funny. I remember this chef that we had back when I was yeah, like a personal chef. And we would hire her sometimes, you know, whenever we would have parties. Not all the time, but, you know, in fancy events. Oh, yeah. And she was always just really kind to me, but she was always just like, she was super cool. And she would kind of bring me, like, sneak me treats sometimes, you know? Like, she would always, like, stash aside some some dessert and, like, extra bread and stuff at the end of the day and kind of, like, slip it to me. And then when I started getting older, she would slip me some, like, little sips of wine, but be like, don't, don't, you know, don't tell your parents. And she was just the coolest. And I didn't really know until I was older what those feelings were. Wow. Yeah, looking back, though, she probably should have been a sign. Yeah. A sign to you. Yeah, I probably wouldn't have like, you know, had that first boyfriend if I would have like oh, connected well, you know. that I was having like, oh, she really hot type of feelings. Hmm. Who? But you, you, just because I'm morbidly curious. Sure. You did have, uh, who was your first boyfriend? His name was. Oh my God! It is not Did you written really down write that somewhere. Down his name. Yeah. Yes. It just it just never came up. I didn't know how to bring talk <laughs> trouble. <laughs> Old circle. Fuck. Fuck. You can make it up. We'll, we won't Maybe. know. His name was t uh, Tony. <laughs> Matoni. 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 What, what's your mm. alter ego? Did you say Tony? Mm. Did you say Tony? Tony? Tony. No. <laughs> Matoni. Hi <laughs> uh, guys. Did you guys date for a while? It must have been very awkward. My it was Tony. not. <laughs> uh, Tony. <laughs> Wherever I go. We were t we were teenagers. It wasn't it like a thing. And then we were kind of we ended up being more bros than anything after a bit. And then that was actually when I did start dating Tori. <laughs> Tony and Tori? Oh, he must have felt so bad. <laughs> well, Tori <laughs> Tori was the first lady that I, oh. I dated. That must have been supremely confusing. Those two names in a row. <laughs> uh, well, like you know, I'm Only trying to. There's been I've been hit in the head a lot, you know, as a monk. So I don't think his name was Tony. Um, <laughs> but 
maybe it's like, you know, when you get a tattoo and then you regret the tattoo, so you have to date somebody that has a similar name so you can, like, fix the tattoo. Is that why you have a Toby tattoo? (laughs) (laughs) Cannon. It just got really muddy. I just, they just kept adding lines. Line, (laughs) name, line, name. (laughs) (laughs) Kind of got rid of the, covered the key. Dagon's like, is that your kill list? (laughs) (laughs) Sure. <laughs> no, no tattoos of Tony or Tori. <laughs> During this conversation, <clears throat> a voice creeps into your head. Oh shit! Balls. Unfamiliar voice. It's me, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there is a spirit. <laughs> I heard you been talking about me. (laughs) I hate it when people from high school call you. (laughs) I found you on Facebook. (laughs) How you doing? Oh, why? (laughs) What did I see in this guy? (laughs) So, (laughs) the unfamiliar voice goes, Associate of Essek, Uriah here. Sending word to keep Essex updated of your estimated arrival. Should you need emergency aid, reach out. Be careful. That's all. That's pretty close to your accent. <laughs> um, <laughs> how far away are we from? Did so? Wait, Essex from that that message was Essex trying to find out how far away we are. Just it was it was saying to to keep him keep him aware of whenever you're you know oh. getting closer. Essentially. Okay, we will. Huh? We're around two days away, I think, but I'm not totally sure. Please tell him that we like him a whole lot and miss him. Two, two days from, from him or two days from our yeah, destination? Yeah, from that general region. I, oh. Yeah, I mean, from, we're kind of on the same. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's pretty much it. <laughs> I'll send a message. I don't know how many words that was. And you'll never know. <laughs> Uh, do, you, do you have any more, or are you out? Do, 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 do. I mean, do you have any more message spells? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that is, I was like, that is the, that is the weirdest We're response. Robin Hood. We went full Robin Hood. Never go full Robin Hood. Yes or no? Jester just goes full tilt in the middle of this journey. <laughs> oh, and we've lost her. <laughs> he did the walking song. Why'd you do the walking song? <laughs> yes, I do have more messages I can send. Well, that's good because I have a super serious message okay, I want to send that requires. Oh, that's oh, so real. Cute. <laughs> uh, would you mind uh, checking in with uh, my sister Calliope just to make sure everything at home is uh, copacetic? Yeah. Yes. What would you just ask her if everything's okay? Anything specific? If how's things? Things are going. How mom and dad are. How if everything's and that you know we're we've got some stuff to do and it's dangerous, but hopefully everything's gonna gonna work out. Let them know when it's when it's all over. Okay. And this is to Calliope. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hey, it's Chester with Caduceus. How are things at home? Mom and Dad okay? How's the Grove? How's the Circle of Thumbs up? Are we? Are we? Are we? Are we're we? gonna be doing dangerous stuff, but it's okay. Be home soon. I'm not. Uh, how's the Circle of Thumbs up? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even hear it. <laughs> That's what that question mark. Yeah. Um, Clive here responds. Oh, everything's okay. We've planted the crystals. Planted the crystals? Mm. Taking root. Taking root? Excited to show when he comes back. Everything sounds like it's great. She's excited to show you. All right, all right, it's good to know. I'm sorry I didn't tell her that we were entering Uh, trouble. Probably for the best, that they don't worry anyway. You never asked me to send messages, and I got it all wrong. No, it was pretty good, actually. It's, uh, if anything, I, I appreciate that they're probably a little confused. That makes me feel better. Okay, <laughs> that's good. I got one left. Anybody, anybody up for grabs here? I got two left, technically. Let's save it, just in case he's... Okay. You could prank yeah. call somebody if you want. I know, I'm, I'm trying to think of somebody. 
Somebody you've never met prank? put a voice into their head. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Think about it. Let's, well, let's save them. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. Actually, could we put a call into Tony? <laughs> Where he is. What he's oh shit! You still got my number? <laughs> what he's thinking about? What is he thinking about you? Oh. Not he'll ever return. New mind. Who does? Um, is he alone? Is he thinking of me? All right. So as the day draws to a close, you camp up for another evening. I assume with the tower once again. Yeah, and but that, before we do that, mm -mm. as we're trotting that way, mm -hmm. I trot up to Caleb. Mm -hmm. Hey, 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 question. Mm. Yeah, when you set this thing up, if you wanted to change little tiny things, do you have to do that ahead of time? Or can I like will it into existence when I'm in the tower? You have to ask me now. I have to ask you now. Circle of trust. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. No, this is just good information to know, so I'll get back to you on that later, I think. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Sure. Alrighty. So, after you've set up your nine-sided tower and the evening's rest ensues, does anybody else? Well, I just wanted to, one small detail, when we all gather for dinner, um, mm -hmm. I use major image to make sort of a, a spectral um, hopper duke around the entire table hmm. with dim little uh, hopper duke fireworks going off around just for ambiance. That's all, small detail. I'm going to send a message to Kiri. Oh. oh. I haven't done, oh. talked to her in so long. Oh, is she? Yeah, I approve of this. Let's do this. Birds don't live long. <laughs> they, that's she's, not she's true. She's still alive. Okay, okay. I'm going to send a message to Kiri. All right. Kiri! How are you? We miss you. Um, we're in snow right now. How's Hopper Duke? Looking at fireworks? Tell me you're cute. Also, that you're good. <laughs> the response comes, we miss you! Hopper Duke is interesting. <gasps> it's fun. We miss you! I built something. There are all these like strange voices coming through with the different phrases from people she's picked up around her since then and such. Please come. <gasps> I am sweet. And that's for dance. <laughs> <laughs> she built something. How fun. Wonder what she built. Or at least someone who talked to her built something. No, she knows how to use words that people say. <laughs> well, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we need to go back and visit her soon, okay? I would love to go back to Hubber Duke. Mm. It was such a party. Mm. It was a good time. Every once in a while, a little skeletal fish floats past <clears throat> Beauregard. Good time. <laughs> Lots of good times. <laughs> okay, that's it. Alrighty. Well, a night's rest comes to a close. The following morning, breakfast awaits you with a fine early morning meal shared amongst you. You gather your things and make your way back out through the main entrance into the cold, frozen north of Isocross once again. Trudging back out into the snow and ice as Dagon leads you forward, I need somebody else to go ahead and roll a d20. That would be Liam Oberon. I'm gonna use my new die. Do it! Two. Oh. <laughs> it's gonna be good. No. Or nasty. So upon exiting, already the sky is darker than the previous day <laughs> of bright blue that led you on a, a gracious journey <clears throat> without issue. Within the first hour of travel, the temperature gets colder, the wind kicks up stronger, cutting and biting through you. The snowfall gets heavier and heavier, and it begins to sting like hail before you realize you are in the center of an ice storm that is beginning to spray down from above. Ow. Clustering up best you can, Dagon's like, this is bad. This is real bad, stay close. If you got shields, keep them up. <laughs> shields up. He bundles up even heavier and continues to push forward as you guys continue. <clears throat> Yasha, do you want to hold up the other shield that, oh wait, did we lose the other shield that Veth was on? No, no, no. No, you're able to recover it. Okay. 
We can hold them up like umbrellas, at yeah, least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can help get them. I need hold. all of you to make a Constitution saving throw for me, please. Ooh. <clears throat> if it's really bad, I could just throw up the tower now. <laughs> now. 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 That's up to you. We'll lose a day of travel. Oh, yep. oh, very good. Natural one for me. Oof. Eleven. Seven. Eleven. Uh, five. Ooh. Eighteen. Six. Shit. Oh my god. What Whoa. the fuck? Terribly. The lowest group so, Yasha. Oh, Yasha. You hold up that shield and push through, and you're like, after the first 30 minutes, going, we're doing okay, and you look back, and the rest of your group is just beaten and pushing along, and you come back and try and help and rally, and Dagon's pushing through, and he's yelling, and it gets to the point where the sound of the storm itself and the wind is so loud that you're having to shout just to communicate to each other. But you continue pushing through for the day, and you make some distance. You still make the, the journey's length, but by the end of the day, you are beaten, you are exhausted, and even though you are taking a night's rest, you know the following morning is not going to greet you kindly. So, setting up for another night's rest? Yeah, I, I forgot, um, with my transmuter stone, that would be a 16 for me, so I don't know if that helps me enough. Uh, not quite. Okay. You missed it by one. This much. Yep. <laughs> Can we have really amazing bathtubs prepared there's already there They're in there. They're always there, piping hot. Oh. Yeah, you wouldn't happen to have like a bunch of kitty masseuses that can do a number on your shoulders. Every kitty here is a licensed masseuse. <laughs> <laughs> you are my favorite weird wizard friend. Thank you. We'll send one of the, the big fellows to your room. Please do. Really stomp on your back. You got it. Oh. <laughs> one of the big <laughs> fellows. Kitty biscuit. Yeah. Oh, that's going to feel so good. Big old kitty. <laughs> All righty. You all manage to find yourselves a night's rest, but when the morning comes, you are sore and you are exhausted. Quite literally, everyone takes two points of exhaustion for this, for this next day of a journey. Everybody? Except for Yasha, who takes just one. Oh, two shit. points of exhaustion. Holy it was a heavy boy. storm. Boy, oh and boy. I, I absolutely did send a battle cat sized spectral cat to Dagon's uh, room that night. So. And he is thankful. The next morning, when you all wake up, he's like, ugh. Oh. I mean, the rest of me is fucked, but these shoulders are golden. Well, what, what is, is two level points two? Of yeah. Hang on, let me see. Does it tell us on D and D burned? Two points of exhaustion means your speed is halved. Oh. And so you guys and disadvantage on ability checks. And disadvantage on ability checks too. Yeah. Jeez, love So, as how you, much further do we have in our journey? Uh, from this point, you have. I mean, to like. Well, counteract. You would have had two more days, but now it'll be three because of that storm, unfortunately. <sighs> we should have just fucking held still. We wouldn't have lost the. We would have lost the day. I left the option, but. Mm. <sighs> yeah. Hmm. I do create gigantic vats of uh, steel cut oats and uh, mm. sliced banana and cinnamon and raisins and dates and bacon. apricots and also bacon and also waffles and also pancakes. Ah, oh, fuck, it sounds so good. It does sound <laughs> so really good. good. That's problematic. All right. It sounds so good. It sounds really good. That, oh. Got kind of lost in it for a second. <laughs> Welcome to the <laughs> International <laughs> House of Cats. <laughs> Like six the, different kinds of syrup. The IHOC? Yeah. Wait, I the IHOC. <laughs> yeah. There you go. <laughs> um, a delicious breakfast is had, and it does help take the edge off a little bit, but as you all gather your supplies and your sacks and your bundled clothing and the door opens once more <laughs> to the cold, uninviting exterior, you all feel a shiver. And with that shiver, you feel every <laughs> bruise and every sore muscle in your body just kind of groan internally as one by one you follow Dagon's lead outside into the cold wilderness. That's why I put bourbon in the oatmeal. <laughs> oh, it's good. Uh, uh, sucks. Dagon, you can see, is now like pulling out his heavy jug and taking swigs, and he's like, This, uh, my apologies, folks. This is, that was a rough day. We're going to be a little behind schedule, but. Uh, just keep an eye out. That's I mean, we could polymorph again. Get yeah, an extra. Just to make a, a, a decent amount of distance, if not an edge. Yeah. That's maybe not bad idea. maybe not a maybe not a bird, and maybe like a big elephant, woolly mammoth thing, or well, something if snowable. Why at least to... we get to not deal with the snow at all? Yeah. Which is a bonus. And uh, well, how's the weather? Flying against the storm. We have to roll for it, I think. 
Mm. Or would we? It's a new We'd weather. still roll Bad. to see how it happens for the day. Okay. But you would. But at least if you were to take flight form, you're still half speed in the creature's. Half of the creature speed. Creature though. speed, yes. Although. Oh wait, we lose exhaustion. No, we... it's an interesting point. Uh, let me do a quick. Oh boy. Quick check. Oh man. Ooh. There's a pot This rule check brought to you by Hot Topic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Doing a quick. Hot Topic. <laughs> this is a backpack hanger. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be awesome if just in the mix that shirt was sold that you have on. No, okay. <laughs> I just, yeah, just one of Marisha. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just a bunch of CR shirts go and then my old headshot. Go to Hot Topic and request this shirt, please. <laughs> Oh, no. it, it might be it might be a deeper glance. I would say for the time that you are polymorphed, I would say you would not have the points of exhaustion during the polymorph, okay. but they when return when you're done. Do. I would Where say did that. You okay. Find that photo. It's an interesting point. <laughs> Don't ask that right now. Oh no. <laughs> oh, he finds them all. It feels like some website that I definitely need to delete if you found it. <laughs> Could be, a, could be a traitor inside the house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere there's a GeoCities account. That <laughs> Omar! <laughs> <laughs> Little floof chaps. Yeah. Fuck him. All right. Puzzled out a USB stick in his fur. <laughs> yep. It'll fit there in the back, yeah. too. There's, there's some deep chaps. So um, roll to see what it the will weather fit. is before we polymorph. Well, we probably more from the mirror to see what the weather is. Oh, right. geez. Let's do it. <laughs> I like it. All right. It's going to be great. I'm going to do the right. same. It's Beth, right? <clears throat> yep. Yeah. But if you can do this this day and tomorrow, you will bring it back to just two days of travel okay. as opposed to three. So, you got it. Don't fuck me, Gil. Nine. A nine. Like the mighty nine. Hmm. Them. Bodes All well. Right. The weather is not as bad as it was the day before. It's still snowfall, but the winds are light and it doesn't impede your flight pattern. Good. As the three giant eagles continue onward for that one hour, gaining some of the ground that was lost, you all find yourselves exhausted once more and trudging forward carefully in the snow as Dagon leads you on. About halfway through the day, Dagon goes, Ah! Well, he, he puts his hand up. He doesn't say anything. He just kind of catches himself and calls up whoever's closest to him and kind of points ahead. And you can see there's in this soft, smooth blanket of fresh snow that covers some of these mild hills that you guys are currently heading towards. You can see a bunch of small shapes kind of just barely poking through the top of the snow, maybe a foot or so, about 100 or so feet off from you. Snow bunnies? Shh. Oh. Starts looking in. If anybody else wants to, two of you can make a perception check if you'd like. Twenty nine. Oh, no, where's that yeah. rolled in? Fair enough. <laughs> Glancing and leaning forward, thankfully because the weather is not very bad, and because the white snow itself uh, gives you a pretty decent bounce for what sunlight is making its way in this region. Uh, you can see what looks to be the tops of heads or creatures unmoving. We're being watched uh, at least, what, three? Four? With that perception check, you would notice it would be seven. Whoa. Seven, seven, seven heads of something. What kind How of big heads? are the heads? I mean, heads? that big, we might be fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. It's hard to tell truly at this distance, especially since most of their body is currently kind of, well, some of it seems to be like shoulders up, somewhat exposed. Uh, humanoid? They look humanoid, but they're also white in color as well, uh, the coloration, so it's it, you can see them, but you can't make out much detail because they're kind of blending in with the scenery. Are they more Yeti? I mean, I don't know, I can't, that's, that's far. <clears throat> I lean closer to Jester and say, look, you can actually crush them from here. Oh, we've taken care of them, no problem. <laughs> Dad comes in and goes, you can also pinch them. <laughs> If that doesn't work, there's nobody even home. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's a lot of bourbon in the pancake. <laughs> oh, the bourbon just got me started. I keep my own stash, don't worry. That oatmeal is delicious. <laughs> Certainly helping the track. Um, in breakfast. Yeah, so Dagen kind of leans in. So what's, what's the plan from here? I ain't seen something like this out of here. Ever? 
not in this particular knife, but normally creatures, they, you know, they move, they stop. These are right still. Uh, maybe they're dead. All? Maybe they're all frozen. Maybe they're statues. Uh, if we were to continue on, Dagon, would, would our path take us right right through there, around? We can go around. I could try sending them a message. Maybe I can freak them out. Do you think they see us? I mean, they've got to see us. They're in the snow and we're far, on top of it. How far away are they? About 100, uh, about 100 feet from you. 100 feet? Uh, uh, hold on. I could give a, make an illusion, give them something to chew on. See what that causes. Yeah, do that. Yeah? See if they chase. Okay. Um, I will pull out the bit of fleece that I use and I will create um, two uh, wolves, like the ones we saw in the mountains, in the midst of them, okay. running about. You see two wolves now kind of circling and stalking in that center space. The, the entities that caught your eye as you and Dagon and the rest of the group kind of leans in, don't react, don't move, just still. I wonder if they're dead. I think they're probably dead. I don't think they're dead. They're just waiting, waiting for us to get closer, and then Strangers we'll wouldn't can take a shot at that, blast though. Blast us with their eye beams. Can Frumpkin go over? He could, um, but first I uh, cause the wolves to go to two of the heads and lift their legs and, and illusory uh, pee on them. Okay. See if that elicits any response. One of the wolves comes over, sniffs, lifts a leg and urinates on one of the heads. No reaction. They're gone. And we saw no movement at all when all of that. None. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. I think it's safe. Yeah. Let's hold on, it. hold on. It's just another two minutes, best boy. Go over there. Check those heads out, please. <laughs> I slap a hand on Beauregard's shoulder. Okay. You follow over, and as Frumkin approaches, you can see th there are different heights because there are different humanoid creatures of different Lineages, arranged in a circle, seven of them, mostly submerged in the snow. You can see um, there'd be one that is almost halfling size, that is pretty much entirely beneath the snow, but there is a faint bit of it that is melted around it. In fact, the snow around these figures seems to be gently melted to the point where it's not really touching the bodies. They're almost like there's a separate cylinder of empty space around them mm -hmm. that prevents the snow, like they have their own heat source. Mm -hmm. But they appear to be human, but they also are made of stone. Are they? Solid sculptures. Simple sculptures or intricate? They're or finely detailed. They're thing? fairly intricate. Oh no. And they are all sitting, and they are all arranged in a circle with their arms out towards the ones immediately to the right and left, all facing inward. In a seven-part circle. What's on the? Can we see what they're facing on the inside? From what you can tell, it's just snow. But there's snow in the middle of them, or there's nothing in the middle, all melted out between them. Directly around each one. Yeah. Like almost like a cylinder within a half a foot of where the statue bodies are. The snow is melted, but then they're in a much larger circle arranged, and in the middle of them, it's just all the snow that's been piled up like everything else around them. Okay, so looking through Frumpkin's eyes as he uh, goes up and down this mound between all of them and peeks in, does this look like some sort of, do they look like actual statues or do they look like someone uh, more like they've been frozen themselves? Does this look like some sort of a ritual that they were in the uh, midst of? Make a perception check. Come on, Frumpkin. Oh, the cat, god yep. damn it. Nah, <laughs> let's say a nine. Okay. It's hard to tell, both uh, the blinding light bouncing from all the nearby white snow and the fact that so much of them are submerged, it's hard to make up the details. Uh, you probably have to get a closer look personally. Yeah, yeah. Also, we have to, I think we have to roll everything at disadvantage, too. Oh, because we're Yes, you do. Oh, so let's see if it's even lower. It's not, that okay. was the worst. Um, got to check this out. Okay. I, know. Yeah, I, I mean, we can try, like, if they're petrified, maybe, Unpetrifying one of them, see what happens. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Find out what's going on. I don't know if I'm up to a fight. I don't know about the rest of you, but yeah, I'm we definitely can. feeling 
Let me Creaky. check out the area, What if they're right? like really, really old people? What if they're from the ancient times? That would be awesome. Let's check it out. Yeah, that's let's what's, go. That's what's here, the ancient times. <laughs> um, I throw up a detect magic on the walk over. Yeah, and within 60 feet, I'll do divine sense as well. Should, should okay. One or two of us just hang back, maybe someone like one of you two, in case like we get 30 feet away and we all turn to stone or something? I'm, I'm, back, gonna, like, I'm gonna keep my distance. Like 105 feet, perhaps? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep 30 feet behind everybody else at least okay. until it's in okay. definitely some distance from this thing until. Mm -hmm. All right, so you're casting Detect Magic? Yeah. All right, sorry, my app, app crashed Maybe here. You should hang back too, not so you can mage hand people out. Yeah, if you guys weigh five pounds, I've got you. Oh. <laughs> but no, I'll, I'll hang back a little. It's Long range action. Okay. Dagon, of course, look, looks over at the rest of you and goes, well, if you know what you're doing, I'll just uh, stay a little behind as well. Yeah, and sure. He goes and keeps a little bit at a, a safe distance from the rest of you in the front line. But as you approach Caleb and cast Tech Magic, you get a, a fairly decent magical aura from each of these, and the essence is divination-based. Uniform for all of them. For all of them, yes. yes. What does divination oh, mean? Sensing, yeah. learning the truth. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Anything for divine sense when we're within 60 feet? Celestial fiend or undead? Mm -mm. So wait, you're you're getting a divination sense from them. Can we? Can I get closer and see if I can see tool marks like these have been carved, or we'd have to get right on them because they're they're, they're encased. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. Oh, I have an idea. This is stupid. Or like they've been frozen. What is your stupid idea? Well, what if we took rope and we tied one of them up, and that way, you know, if I did try to unpetrify them, then at least they'll be tied up. That's mm -hmm. not just right away. At all, if that's what we want to attempt. Well, let's let's see if they're even petrified. Yeah. Okay. So you continue to approach. I'll oh, yeah. um I'll start sneaking up. Petrified. And see what happens. We don't. Have. Like each step, I'm kind of. I have that. We have. I have. Ch a lot checking of for traps, I guess, so for lack of a better term. Uh, I'm going to awkwardly I'm tail you. I'm going to stay close behind you. For okay. Me. Okay. So carefully, you all kind of. Line up a bit behind Beauregard as you carefully approach. The closest one to you, which, looking at it, it looks, it appears to be orc in appearance. You can see the head on top is smooth with kind of longer hair in the back, a, a, close to a skullet, if you will. Um, textured down to the shoulders, and you can see from the part of the torso that's exposed above the snow line, uh, it appears to be almost robes that are drifting off the shoulders. You see the arms extended outward, palms up, and then the ones off to the right and left, you can see their arms extended, palms down, and then the next one's over, palms up, so they're almost like. Alternating? Alternating as they go. They were playing that. Mm -hmm. Oh, that yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Divination does magic. That, does that game have a name? Slap, slap, slap. But oh, wasn't there, there's one that's like a down circle. By the banks of the. Yeah, the rest the of the <clears throat> okay, back to the D and D oh, campaign. Travis, <laughs> <laughs> necessary lore. Uh -huh. <laughs> so alternating palms up, palms down. I'm keeping a very close the eye first on this. One was by the hmm. way, this is and including around us too to see if this is a trap. The first yeah. one was an orc, and then to either side, do we see what race they are? You see, you mentioned halfling. There's a human. There's an elf. There's a halfling. There's a gnome. I could try to uh, clear the space out amongst what, them what too. Was the last yep. one you said? Goliath. They're they're all of, they're all of different races. They're all dressed similarly. And you said there's seven of them. Seven of them, yes. Six. What was the last one? Ah, uh, the last one would have been dwarf. So all different races. Mm -hmm. And how wide is the circle from one side to the other? Of uh, each of these statues, roughly from where the hand ends, is about three feet till the next one. So yeah. it's a fairly wide circle. And then from two statues facing each other, what's the distance roughly between the two sides? Let me just do some quick math in my head here. Um, guesstimate, yeah. guesstimate, guesstimate. Yeah, right, no, so it'd be like 
15 or so feet. Okay. Keep a, in the a center? bit of distance, Jester, yeah. in case yeah. we need you. That's pretty big. Yeah. I think call. maybe, should we not step in the circle? No. We shouldn't step in the middle of them. I can't even see what's in there. I feel no, like that's good advice in general. I wonder if we can melt the snow in the middle and see if we can see something. That's what, that's what sure. I'm saying, yeah, take the, the snow out of the center. Oh, I know, because I was totally paying attention to what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, he does that. I'll, I'll get a closer look at the statues and see if they're carved or something else happened. Okay, so you begin to from a distance. Well, I'm going to do something a little hot, so okay. I, well, do you want to take a look at that first? Sure. Or do you want me to clear them out? First? No, I mean, let me take a look first. Okay. Roll investigation. An investigation check for me with disadvantage. With disadvantage, I thought. Okay. Um, but it's still a 22. Damn. Looking very closely at the details, they are detailed, but some of the edges, the lips, elements of them are still a bit rough, which, with your experience, both researching and actually witnessing creatures that had been petrified, leads you to believe that these were actually crafted. Carved and crafted. Mm -hmm. Though, Angelos. Okay. Though it's hard to tell how long ago, how recent. Okay. So they're, they're sculpted, and the fact that it's seven different races feels like some sort of unity circle, something like that. Do any of them look at all familiar? To you? No. Most of their faces are fairly blank. Um, just the eyes are open and they're looking right across. Their expression is neutral and they're just arms out facing forward, like some sort of odd courtyard decor. See what's in the center. Back up, everybody, just uh, 20 or 30 feet, please. Um, and I will take a little bit of phosphorus and I'm going to back up more than 20 feet. push <laughs> my hand through and then curve it and make a, a small, tight ring of walled fire in the center of Okay. The <laughs> this column of fire bursts out from the center of this statue circle. He watches Dagon and he's like, whoa, shit, and wheels back a bit, kind of this. protecting his face, like that, that was, Sure, yeah, go for it, I guess. Um, uh, within moments, the the snow in the vicinity and even beyond the circle begins to just melt and turn to water and steam from the center. You can see there's a column of steam that rises up from the initial arrival of this burning wall of fire. Uh, within a very short period of time, you've cleared the region of snow. Um, you can see now the ground below, which has been a while since you've seen uh, a larger patch of just visible turf. There is a thick, muddy dirt that has become dry and cracked towards the center where all the moisture was burned away. You can see long, decayed elements of, of gray grass, and uh, if you want to roll a nature check for me, Caduceus. There's markings on the grass. 50 yard line? What does that mean? Uh, that's, a, that's, that's a one. That's a one. <clears throat> Not an extra one. But. You have no idea what this grass is. You have no idea if it's a, if it's alive or dead, but my, it's, my it's curious. is a negative one anyway. I, I know how it works. I don't I know. know what it is. I'm just curious. Um, start looking about for sigils. Uh, what you do notice purpose. in the center of the circle, there is a circular platform about a half a foot high that has simple circular markings around it, and looks like interesting designs that represent the seven points of each of these statues, all meeting in the center. I think it means, Caleb. Do you think if you stand in the middle of it, you'll learn everything there is to know about the world? Well, one could hope. I should give it a try. I should jump right on top of it. Um, I can. Is there any kind of um, divination? Mm -hmm. And I can't tell from years of study what what its purpose is because it's too old. Roll a history check for me. With can I aid him? Advantage. With disadvantage. Yeah. Can I aid him? Sure, just a straight roll. Straight roll. Although this history. I'm good at history. I know. I'd say it'd be separate rolls as opposed to aiding, so this is more of like okay, both I'll of your in roll. individual knowledge. Would you prefer to do separate rolls. So, disadvantage for each of you. Rat. <laughs> it was good the it first time. It was fucking great. Oh, <laughs> I tried. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. 16 instead of a 28. 
27. Ooh. With disadvantage? I rolled two 13s, and my Ooh. history is a 14. That's pretty Ooh. good. Yeah. But not enough. What? Oh! Yeah, it's one of those. What's fuck? You <laughs> roll natural <laughs> 20 and have a plus 10. Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah, there's. The, this was a DC 30. It's. Uh, oh. Oh, you have no idea what this it's is. It's got a mm. teleporter vibe. To All you know is it has some some essence, like strong essence of divination from yeah. these statues. Um, that's all you know. Yeah, not, well, not probably not teleporting. Mm-hmm. So they were trying to gleam something. Well, even though they're alternating, at some point, one of these is going to meet, right? Because there's an odd number. Mm-hmm. Do you do notice on one of the edges there is one person whose one hand is face up and one hand is face down that completes the link? Got it. Maybe we should all stand behind them and do the same motion. Why was, sure, why not? Well, why was the snow around them like the, the snow wasn't pressing against them, right? Yeah, that's, they're no. warm statues. If we stand near the statue, does it feel warm? Immediate vicinity? No. Hmm. If when you touch it. <gasps> You're going to touch one? Do it. Yeah. Do you touch the statue? I touch one of the statues. Okay. You reach out, mm. and as your fingers touch the exterior of the Stone statue that's closest to you. Yeah. At first, you sense it, it does have a strange warmth to it. Yeah. Warm. A little then, tingly. Nothing. <sighs> Let's just fucking do it. Just... She's like, uh. Hey, we should do the thing. Let's stand all stones. This is it. Strange warmth to it, though. Hmm? A, a, a strange warmth to it, yeah. Oh, huh. such an ulcer is happening. Just yeah, the, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, that's yeah, all. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh God! Boy, that it really it. feels like you know. There's seven of us. The college on. kids that stumble upon the oh, cold yeah, circle yeah, and like cold. summon yeah. Cthulhu. Just, okay. just read this passage. I just it's really, really wish we weren't so tired. Can but. we just do a 360 scan to see if anybody's watching and they're like, "Oh my God, these fucking idiots are really gonna do it." <laughs> uh, yeah, Dagon, who is currently going. <laughs> Y'all have fun. I'm gonna just back the fuck out of this for a while. Get ready to save us, Dagon, in case we die. <laughs> sure, totally. And he pulls out some beef jerky and is like, "Keep going." <laughs> yeah, we need. We actually need Caduceus for this. We, yeah, wait, are we all? Are we all going we're in? We're doing no, this. We're gonna stand behind the statues and do Who's the same motion. The, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Terrible yeah. idea. So we should find some like closest to our uh, like that look like us and go for it. Yeah, I'll, I'll so go behind the human. None we're of doing these the look same like me. thing, but behind the statues. Yeah, I'll do this. So we'll be reaching slightly further. It'll be the split. Mm-hmm. I'll do whichever one is doing the splits. You'll end up in half. So yeah, that I'll take the okay. orc. I'll take. Is there a tiefling? I'll do the tiefling. Sure. I'll take whatever's left over. I don't do not believe there's a. Tiefling in this What the board. fuck is this shit? Why isn't there a tiefling? <laughs> Big deal. You can do the gnome. Do the gnome. Or what? Do the gnome. Okay, I'll do the gnome. Okay, I'll, do okay, the I'll take the elf. Then. Goliath. I'll do the halfling. Alrighty. Okay. You all arrange yourselves behind the statues, matching the hand movements, <laughs> as you all take the corresponding poses around these. Wait, we gotta figure it out. I gotta, I gotta get it right. Tell Thousand. Tell no. So like this. Okay, wait. Okay, okay, no, wait. Okay. No, no. We're something. What's wrong amazing with that? about this is no one no, can this see right. what we're doing. Wait. No, wait. <laughs> All our this hands are off. Right <laughs> Do it closer to your body. Closer to your body. Wait, who's the intersection? Wait, oh, you are. He's the intersection. I'm the split. Work. You're the split. You gotta flip. I gotta be the splitsies. Why? No, she's the split. You got to be the split. You gotta flip. I already called dibs on. You gotta go down. Now you got Dallas. You gotta go up. I gotta flip. I gotta go. If there's two you gotta go flips, up. then there shouldn't be any flips. It yeah. should just be all the There flips. are no what? flips, guys. No flips. You up. describe one with a hand up, one hand no, down. He was wrong, there's no flips. Yeah. Because I was told it was wrong, and I was like, oh right, then there would be, but no, there isn't. There's no flips. Oh, okay. There's no flips? I didn't think there would be, but then I thought I thought you guys said that there Matt, it wouldn't why is mix. Why the world up. invisible? <laughs> well, yeah, there's seven, so like at it. some point there are two people oh, with no, the no, same. No, 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 with, no, with seven it should be complete. Oh, you made me second guess myself. You did it with the fucking archipelago <laughs> in the campaign one. Okay, we got did it again this time. Okay, here we go. God, we're so dumb. It's been well, a long day, long week, the... long month, long year. Am I crazy? Seven. <laughs> you, I mean, you saw it. Yeah, do it again You're crazy. You, you do it, do okay, it. Okay, okay, so wait, I'm going to do started. like this. No. I'm going to show you start I was like, I was like seven, that'll, that'll complete up. the circle. Okay, then, And then you made me second guess myself. Well, if we weren't all going to die before, we are now. Okay, do it. Do it. Do it, Liam. 
There you, Wait, you guys are doing the same okay, thing. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, they're we're doing matching. The same thing. They're oh, matching. Oh, they're so there is a flippy. There is no, a flippy. No, no, no. Liam, you need you yeah. need even Wait, numbers to be a circuit, and odd is gonna need a. Okay, so okay, oh, let's start. There are. Liam, <laughs> you Liam be flippy. the flippy. You call flippy first. Okay, okay. we'll go okay. from there. Point. Base it okay. off the person next to uh, you. Yep. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, we did it. Okay, we're we're okay, we're we're Where did you guys fuck up? And I'm sorry, I fucked up too on that one. But then I corrected it, and then you maybe never mind. I mean, oh, that was yeah, fucked up. Even Ow. numbers we are a circuit. It. Odd numbers, there needs to be a circuit. Right. Or a breaker. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let that. Basic engineering, Matt. Come on. I just drew it. <laughs> Don't yell at me. You're the guys who fucked it up the first time you did the circle and made me second guess myself. I love that this has been like five minutes of us trying. Trying to just mash the I know stack. there are people at NASA who watch this show, but they're going to stop now. <laughs> God fucking damn it. All right. And everyone will forget. Just keep going. Okay, okay. This. We did it. We did guys. It. Well done. <laughs> this is as what you we're all, supposed to do, right? I, as you all stand there and match the hand motions Nothing. of each of these statues, you look at each other. In a moment of quiet, you hear. <laughs> Y'all did it! You're looking cool. great! <laughs> How crazy. All right, all right. I really thought that was going to do I something. Did too. I didn't. Did I mean, anyone sit in the, stand in the middle? No. No, no, no. I'm scared to! Yeah. Okay, I'll go stand in the middle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do it, do it! Do it, right. do it! No, look at his face! What? <laughs> do it! <laughs> look at his face! Do it. All right, I'll go stand in the middle. Where does Boulder Parger shears first <laughs> loses goes? All right. Wait, wait, just one last thing. Qu quickie, quickie. Yeah. I cast identify on on one oh, statue. Oh, yeah, 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 that's, that's good. Yeah, smart, that's a better idea better than idea. just jumping right into the middle. Mm. Okay. Um, you cast identify on it. Mm -hmm. It gives you a strong divination response, mm -hmm. but there's something oddly esoteric and undefinable beyond the simple magic of an identify spell. And does it feel older than Halas's holes? Holes? It feels oh, old. His holes. It certainly feels old. It's old, old, old magic. Old it would really magic. suck if this was like sealing something away. Uh-huh. Right. It's, it's not Well, it's though. divination, so it's got to be yeah, It's a seeing. knowledge. Is there anything yeah. between, yeah. between I roll Frumpkin into the circle. Oh, come on! Okay. We were Boulder Parchment Boulder Shears! Parchment. Is it a three way Boulder Parchment? Yeah. I, I already did it. He's in we're there. doing oh. Boulder Parchment Shears. Frumpkin stands in the middle. Yeah. Cool. No. Oh, who who are the three? Not it was me and Yasha and Bo. Okay. Yeah. Ready? <clears throat> Boulder Parchment Shears. Fuck, we did it again! <laughs> That's hard to do. God damn! Go again. All right, okay, okay, okay. Boulder Parchment Shears. Oh, uh, I win. Oh, you win. win. Yeah. Does that mean I lose? Yeah. Yep. Okay. That means you go in the circle. Um, <laughs> quick, quick resistance popped on you. Thanks, bud. That's all I got. Oh, boy. All right. <laughs> I'll trepidatiously okay, so. walk towards the center and stand up on the pillar thingy. Okay. Caleb's you holding 17 components and it's like. <laughs> <laughs> you know. right, so you, you stand up onto the platform. And a death warp. Okay. You kind of look about, and for a moment you're like, nothing's working. And then you look at the statue ahead of you, and you feel like it's looking at you. And you look at the other one immediately left to it, and you feel like they're all looking at you. And language doesn't enter your mind, but thoughts voices kind of mingling and the sense of what it seems to reach out to you is do you give to receive ask and we take <gasps> ask and we take yeah Do I feel like I can step off of the circle? That was a question. Right now, you cannot move. Oh, shit. You are locked into the attention of whatever 
this is. And they are waiting. Oh shit, I need to think of a question. Oh no, I can't, I can't ask anybody for help right now, can I? None of us heard any of that, right? Oh, no, you just watched Jester kind of step in the middle there. Oh, no. oh boy. What? What are the tomb takers trying to bring back? All their eyes begin to glow. <gasps> Suddenly, imagery fills your mind. Familiar imagery of a living city flexing and shifting. <laughs> you see this odd architecture, both ancient but beautiful and alien in ways that you've never really seen, except for glimpses of the first excavation you saw. You see imagery of this massive flexing, in some ways still in stone, in some ways flesh and breathing, city ship entity gliding through the astral expanse. And you sense the tomb takers trudging through the snow, satchels half full with necessary gathered components, and a devious intent leading them. Your vision comes back to you, and just as you gather your thoughts, all of a sudden, you feel something being pulled from you, some odd cold takes grasp inside the center of your chest and your soul and your spirit, and you fall to your knees and start coughing uncontrollably. <coughs> then you kind of stand up and a little winded, but but you're okay. We run to Jess. Just, uh, yeah, I rush over. What happened, what happened, what happened? Okay. What happened, what happened in there? They're bringing the tomb takers, they're bringing back the city. The bad city. How did you, how, how do you know that? I don't know, the statues told me. They just told you that? How do they know? I don't know, they they said give something and and they'll they'll give me something in return. What did you give? I don't know. Has have the statues changed? No. How are you feeling? Yeah, you all right. How do I feel? Do magic or something. Do a cantrip. Well, I want to get away from this circle first, okay? Yeah, that's... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We walk a, a ways away. Come over here. Okay, I'm going to try to do a spell or something. Start simple. Did we see the eyes glow? Mm -mm. I'm going to try to just um do a a, a, a sacred flame. Okay. 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 Can happen. Okay. That's good. Do you feel? Do you feel okay? Do you feel? Yeah, it felt like something cold left me, but I don't know what it was. Caduceus. Yeah. Beauregard. Yeah. Pretty decent passive perception. Um, I mean, you all look tired. You're all exhausted. This past, this journey has been tough physically. Um, there's something about Jester that just looks a little more, I don't know, mature. Huh. Like. She looks older. I'm going to. Older or just why? Like, like she well, seems a little older. I think they. I'm gonna just get right up. You smell a little. Fuck you. Well, just like a little. Yeah, like like, like Noxzema. Have the have, yeah. have, have, have her. Uh, <laughs> like mom. Have her horns changed at all? Hmm? Have her horns changed at all? They've grown a little bit longer. Yeah. What is it? I think they took some of your life away. They took time. How much? How much time? Not a lot. I mean, enough that I can see it. Like when you see an old friend a few years later, and it's been a bit. It's me, Tony! <laughs> 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 
Who? Does my face look? Are my teeth bones more pronounced? Pepper. My mom always said as I got older, I would, I would have more pronounced cheekbones. You look excellent. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, about a about a mm-hmm. about a year or two is that what it looks a little like. A little more than that. Mm-hmm. Should about go into the. You'd say estimate ask between four long. or five years. <gasps> wow! Holy shit! Look at you. You're like a tiefling, and they've got a little extra time, right? Yeah. I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Okay. That's no big deal. Wow. Well, we have some confirmations. That was worth it. That knowledge was worth it, right? Um, now we know <laughs> beyond all certainty that we need to stop the tomb takers. I mean, I know Something. we knew, we knew it, we knew we needed to, but now we know we needed. Is to. there anything worth knowing? Asking still. Well, we could ask what's at A two. How do we stop Molly? You guys no, are what's worth. He, we could what's ask he getting an A five? Five years of your life. Uh, what? Uh, what? What? What all did you do? Oh, yeah, 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 Dagon, Dagon can go. <laughs> no, I mean, what all did you do? And he points oh, he, oh. he points back in the opening, and they're gone. Oh, in, the wait, conver- in the conversation you guys were having about this, the moment you all took your eyes off of it, only. Shit. the circle has vanished. Oh. <gasps> I'm sorry, I hope my question was good enough. No, that is yeah. an excellent yeah. question. Yeah, you, did, you did great, we know you're winging it. Did it hurt? I mean, it has uh, it made me cough. It felt like empty for a second, but I feel kind of normal now. That was a hell of a question. With it felt, it, it felt no what? warning. <sighs> wow. How, how, how did it feel? You know, like like cold. You know that moment in The Little Mermaid when Ariel's singing and we she loses. Well. It's no. like that. Don't, don't know that at all. Mm-hmm. Thought you, you, Ursula's said a bitch. you felt empty for a moment. I did. Huh. For a second. Huh. Is okay. That something that that can be reversed. No, I've got a boy. I don't. I think when you when you buy something, you pay for it. Also, she looks fine. We've all seen her mother. She, I mean. You actually, you look my pretty mom's, good. My mom's she's great. Stan, your mother is a beautiful woman. You're a beautiful woman. It's you, she's sharp in yeah. that a little bit. It's nice. Yeah. Caleb, you would know in your studies that there are ways to reverse such powerful ancient magical aging to that degree, but that magic is extremely powerful and extremely rare. It was worth it. Okay. And the tomb takers are halfway. Better move. It's interesting to, as you kind of play over the vision in the head of, like, beyond just, beyond just them traveling, uh, the visions of them carrying many things. Not specifically, but you saw them gather one threshold crest from where you encountered them. From what you were shown, you sense that they were bearing numerous things amongst them. Bearing, not bearing. Do you think? Bearing. Did it seem like when I saw it that that was the future, or that was what was happening now? It seemed there current. Any way? Current. Wow. How'd they get so much stuff so quickly? Maybe. Well, I mean, we saw a vision of Molly when we were still. Outside of Zadash. They've been here. But also, what did They've you, what did you ask? You asked, what do they want, right? I said, what are they trying to bring back? So that it showed you what they are trying to do. So maybe they haven't succeeded yeah, at all. Yeah, I don't that. think they, they have. Succeeded. They're on their way there. But this does answer the question that they're not just looking for threshold crests. Right. They're looking for lots of things. It's lots of things. Probably anything holding some of this ancient archaic energy. Whatever's holding they the were, city back. Mm-hmm. I don't even necessarily know if they know what they're calling. I didn't get the well, yes, feeling we that they really thought about this. Are they pawns or are they more? And will they listen to reason? They believe they're going home. You ever stood between anybody when they think, convinced that they're going home? Yes. Their real home? Yes. It's not pretty. No. No, it's not. 
Are they spying on us right now, Fort? I don't think I still have a. Um, I'll summon the sword and you see invisibility. Because it has been an additional day, yeah. Glancing about at the moment, you don't see anything. Make perception check. <coughs> at disadvantage. Mm hmm. Um. um <laughs> eight. Mm. Yeah. Don't see anything. Maybe now you'll get like different targeted ads, like mortgage refinancing <laughs> and like Peloton and stuff yeah. now yeah. instead yeah, of. That's, that's a good point. Yeah. I was getting kind of bored with the old ones. So. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you look beautiful. I, you don't look that much different to me. I just don't like you losing time. It's okay. Just as long as that's all. This is good. This is helpful. I think. We should also talk to Vash. We're, we are moving. Yeah, point. we should get going. Yep. All right, y'all. Um, y'all find what you're looking for. Sure. Badly. Yes. All right. I haven't met a group so eager to poke the badger before. And he starts <laughs> making his way onward the path you were taking. Oh, some badgers need poke. His way on. <laughs> <laughs> um, but beyond that, the rest of the day's journey is fairly uneventful. As you all prepare yourselves to bed down for the night, you have about two days, a little under two days travel with one more flight uh, the following day that'll take it to just about one, a little yeah, over so one. We lose a point of exhaustion? You do after a nice rest, yes. That's good. So, you lose a point of exhaustion. Yasha, you're good now. Okay. What is the... What does the one point of exhaustion ability do as opposed that, to the two? That's disadvantage on ability checks. Two is speed halved. Yeah. Oh, okay. Woof. Uh-oh. It's going to look good. Um, yeah. Okay. So, but you're, you're making up the time with the flight, which is good. Okay. This is the night where we can <coughs> talk to the head again. Oh, yeah. I've got some questions, but I'm happy to Happy to game this out once we're once it's time. Can we do this by the fire? Yeah, let's figure yeah, it out yeah, while yeah. we walk Maybe and we talk. Maybe we can do it in the tower. Yeah. End of day. Walk and talk. Yeah, yeah. Walk and talk. We're walking and talking. All right, you guys are walking and talking. Yeah. Dagon's far enough ahead that you probably want to wait till he's probably out of earshot. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh right, he doesn't want to know. <laughs> just, <laughs> just throwing it out there again. <laughs> It'll scramble the brain again. <laughs> A little more trauma. It's just. All right. So what would you what would you ask? I want to know if they know that they're bringing back the city. I want to know how she did, how she emptied Lucian. Mm -hmm. How? What? And that's I don't know. The question we questions we asked her before was, what do the tattoos mean? What is the book? Something went wrong with Molly. What happened? What does to Alpha to Alpha Homeward Bound mean? What does it mean to be a nonagon? Did she actually answer any of those questions? Mm -hmm. Okay. Obtusely. But Obtusely. Yeah. We want to know what's a, what, what's an A2? Right. Yeah. And what are these items that they're All talking right. about? All right, maybe we should ask if we should bother with A2 or if we should go straight to A or proper. Her answer to what does it mean to be a nonagon was, Nanagon is a vessel, a key to Cognosa. Oh, right. The one to free the Somnovum. Jesus. Well, that Somnovum <laughs> is maybe the city? Yeah. Yeah. Huh. But she, if, if she knows that, then she'll know what they need to, uh, to get the city back, at least. She did answer to what those two Alpha to Alpha mean in Homeward Bound. I am uncertain. Many pieces lay strewn city to city. Many pieces. So that's, we got that to Alpha to Alpha, where the city pieces, but. They're collecting the pieces of the puzzle. They don't yeah, actually don't know what, ask to her do, what they're doing. what is needed to unlock the Somnova. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. We can also and try, um. Huh. Um, well, we don't have any ivory, do we? Do you have any ivory, Caleb? Um, let me look through my equipment, uh -huh. I don't think so. Mm. Mm. Is there a, a rule about the the components? Is it like if it has a, a worth of like gold pieces, then you can't use your your um, focal point or something? Is that what the rule is? If it has a, a gold piece value, that means you can use your focus, but you still have to have that component with you. Um, 
the idea is your focus is used in place of other non-monetary valued components. Okay, that's what I thought. We can use a residuum. <clears throat> yes. Didn't we use all that already? No, we have 200 oh, gold worth oh, of residuum great. left. Um, and there's always legend lore, which there's we could do. There's always legend lore. And really ask the Wild Mother or the Traveler, like, what is known it's kind about of what I'm thinking. I, I think Lord maybe. Big risk. Well, between things like that and maybe a few message spells. Matt, do I know anything? Like, is Cognosa in some Novum, like, an equivalent of our Latin root? Is it something that I would maybe know, like, the root wordage of? Roll a history being from check. We can message the library. Go 30. Yeah. I know. That's still what I'm thinking. I can message the library potentially for Still with disadvantage because still you still have not Why? Because we're still Because you still have a point of exhaustion. <laughs> That's what happens. But I love you. But I love you. That's what happens when you fuck with Mr. Dubinay's earlier. Oh, oh. No, no, it was a natural 20, but instead I'm going to have to go with a dirty 20. Okay. Unfortunately, you can't recall in your studies anything that you can attribute specifically to the I can't even the verbiage, like, the root oh, words. No, okay, 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 yeah. okay, okay. That's the, the city in the Somnovum is the... He to took, free the yes. sun of them? The one to, yeah, Nanagon is a vessel. Key to Cognosa, the one to free the sun of them. Also, I was writing very quickly, so there might be some the words missing. In the Cognosa. You would remember. Which bit? If there were no words missing from what she's saying. I think, right? That's right, no, she got it. Yeah. Is that, that more or less it? Any yeah. like key factors? Yeah. Okay. I mean, you could ask your people. <clears throat> Yeah, we could send you got a message. People, you got people to, to read the book. You could write down exactly what you want me to say, so I don't fuck it up. Okay. I guess we're while we're walking. Sure. Okay. Out of earshot of Dagon. Out of earshot Out of, of Dagon. Let's. Look, this is all. We're not talking about Vesterogno right now. I don't think he wants to know any of it. <laughs> Talk about other stuff while I think about this. Okay. What are you guys doing? Walking we'll and make our way while this happens. <laughs> Twenty-five words. Yeah. Right. How many questions do you get? Five, I think. Five total, and we have three now, or four. We have a lot. I've got. Th- I've got three-ish. Hey, are we ever going to ask questions of that uh, that poor sap that I chopped his head off? Oh. Oh, I'd forgotten. Wait, who was that? <laughs> He was, a, you know, a he was just a stranger. dude that was like probably standing guard or something that died. Yeah, we probably can ditch that head. About him. Okay. Or we were gonna throw ask that head like, out into the snow. Or we can keep it for the time being. Yeah, sure. It's just getting really interesting in the bag. Okay, so have we rolled? For the day? For the next day? Because you guys have- My turn? Yeah. yeah. Four. The weather is clear, (gasps) and despite the still chilly wind, passage is safe. All right. Yes. So we should should do another flight. Sure. Really gain some time. It's just a matter of uh, if we want to send this message before we fly or after we fly. Okay, 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 okay. Um, well. Do they have a time limit on when they need to respond? Pretty quickly. Well, let's, let's fly, and I'll think about it while we fly. Okay. All right, so, utilizing your same, perfect, your same arrangement, mm-hmm. your trio of giant eagles, lift up the rest of your troop and make your way onward in the direction that you continue to go. After the hour is done, you all come back down onto the frozen surface and continue on trekking. So, during the rest of that journey, you begin to develop the question you wanted to ask. Uh huh. Mm. Uh huh. <laughs> uh huh. And you continue walking as it's developed. Yeah. Walking in a circle now. <laughs> yep. Just got the one side. Uh, as the day draws colder and darker, you eventually prepare yourselves to bed down what I assume, once again, is in the nine sided tower. Mm-hmm. 
Um, so you gather your things and make your way toward us the final night to rest before reaching your destination the following day. Okay. Now, as you are all preparing for the night's rest, mm-hmm. what are you doing? Let's talk to a let's talk to a, a head and then send a send a message to some librarian. Should just excuse Dagon upstairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Dagon. You know what? Let's yeah, what? Get, um, let's get oh. let's get you a nightcap. Um, uh, Jinx, uh, Jellicle, Jangles. Uh, could you get uh, get da- Dagon here uh, a sherry, an after dinner sherry? Have we had dinner? We've had dinner. Sure, I'll. Here's your sherry. I'll take it. Come on up. Tell, nope. so, tell Aesop to go up and walk on his back again, please. Yes, please! And he's like floating his way up to his chamber. Don't come down here, we're talking about secret things. Works for me. He shoves off for his, his night of sherry and uh, back biscuits. <laughs> that sounds like a good night. Yeah. yeah, it does, I could use that. Yeah. So, city? I would die. Okay. Sure. How did you empty Lucian? Yeah. What is needed to unlock Somnovum? What is needed to unlock Somnovum? Somnovum? Is there anything else? I've got about five words left. What is that? I don't that know what your do? question is so yet. What are they looking for at A2? <clears throat> Not what are they looking for at no, A2? No, no, no. Do they need anything from A2? Oh, right. Do they need, yeah, do they need anything from A2? I have from Expositor Lionette. Pursuing a uh, deep and isle cross, pursuing eyes of what nine. What's she looking for? Any information or etymology on words cognosa or somnov- somnovum? And I've got like five words left. Okay. I might she had it. She had it. She had it marked in the map, but if we yeah, did, we have to give them some way. There, uh, so find well. someone who can send a message to you and let them know, because that's a lot of. Um, Information. Otherwise, we can check back in the morning. You can you can say that we'll check back in the morning. Okay. Uh, what was yeah. she looking for? At that's a good idea. For sure. Is there anything I'm they need at A two? Work fast. We'll check back in the if morning. If not, we won't go. I love that. Anything work he needs. Busy work going on. Yeah, 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 yeah. At A two. In the meantime, I'm just going to ask you know Yasha to strum her harp for us. Back. Just sort of for um. Bardic inspiration. Just to just basically. to kind of like lighten the mood because it's kind of tense tonight. I mean, you know, we got Oldie over here, and the, these two guys are just writing everything. She's gonna be touching okay. my horns. And I'm trying to figure out how much behind. they've grown. <laughs> Slowly strumming. Got like great whiskers. Like got like Shut up. Just a couple no, whiskers. Not, just pluck them. Whiskers. You have whiskers. I accidentally clicked the wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Does my horn jewelry still fit to my horns? Yeah. Okay. No. So, I mean, I actually think the the extra years looks great on you. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm ready. Um, okay. Uh, I'm going to send a message right now. To who am I sending it? Udolophon. We're going Udolophon. straight to the top. To Udolophon. Send in the message. From Expositor Lionette. From Expositor Lionette. Five questions. You have five already. Is that part of the message? Well, I have one. <laughs> um, did you know about the city? We'll hold on this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Message. We'll do this first. Go. Here we go. From Exposure and Lynette. Deep and Eisel Cross. Deep and Eisel Cross. Pursuing nine eyes. Pursuing nine eyes. Any information? Any information. Or etymology? Or etymology? On words? On words? Cognosa? Cognosa? Or, or somnovum? Somnovum? Work fast? Work fast. We'll check back in morning. We'll check back in morning. Who's on Taldori Council? <laughs> <laughs> to squeeze it in there at the very end. I have two more questions. I have a. Slide. I was giving it time so that Udalafon would be able to write down some of these things. Fair enough. Mm-hmm. Okay. The response comes. Ah, thank you for the information. I will pass this on to our archivists and see what we can find. That's it for now. Yep. Right. Uh, so so far, is there anything she he needs at A two? Did she know about the floating city? 
Is that important? Is that important? Well, we can ask, we can, and I don't know. Yeah. Uh, we can ask her. Yeah, she's well, got to know about the floating yeah. city. We can ask her what uh, Psalm Nova is. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is Psalm Nova? Uh, how did you empty Lucian? <laughs> and that's three questions. Three. Why did you want to unlock Psalm Nova? Why did you want to? How did we beat Lucian? Well, yeah, does it help us to know, like, how did Lucian kill you? Or, like, what, what sort of power does he have? Or yeah. mm -hmm. How would we stop them? Feels like she'll feel vengeful. Feels Maybe like, how, how do we stop them from succeeding? Feels like if she knew a weakness, she would have been able to exploit it. I'm also curious, I don't know if this would help us in any way, but why does she keep doing this to him? To, to, to Lucian, you know? Why is, does he keep getting, they keep getting emptied? I don't, I don't He might know. have only been emptied one once. time. Maybe. Maybe she just did it the <laughs> once and he came Maybe. back, you know? Hmm. I have a question too, if there's room for it. These things can change as, as the conversation goes well, forward. Mm -hmm. This is the priority, but if there's room, I have something unrelated to ask her. Let me know. Well, I mean, what is it? Uh, I'd be curious to know if the Cerberus Assembly would tolerate the removal of Trent Icathon. That's a lot to write down. Let me know when we get there. <laughs> uh, all right, do we want to do this? Let's do it. All right, set up the head and... Should we, should we probably put the, the head on top of one of the cats, just so it... It feels like like it know. feels like That's, it's alive. It's gonna walk away. Oh, good. good. <laughs> and I prefer uh, I prefer focus and not. Ooh, let's make the room like really dark and like only have light underneath our faces, so we seem more intimidating. Well, we're in the tower, so I just uh, telepathically Turn on uh, the hue make lights. the globules dim. Hue lights. Then. And I put a big uh, silver platter yes. on a, a wide. Uh, low table before the uh, main fireplace in the salon for her head. All right. I want her head on a platter. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, you have the dull, ghastly, lifeless head of Vesteragna. Gross. Lit, rather macabrely, at your disposal. This may be the last time. What is Somnova? With the head sister resting. They are the minds of Cognosa. M minds? The minds. The ones who orchestrated its escape. And wish now to return. I'm going off script. Already? <laughs> Is that all right? Sure, sure. Your spell. Escape from what? The destruction of Aeor. Betrayed their own city to ensure their survival. Why did you want to unlock, bring back Sonova? To become one of the minds is to receive the lost knowledge of the greatest majorcracy in history. We are collecting the keys to, to complete this. What do we need at A2? It requires 
a means to come back. Enough crests to replace lost when it found the storm. I'm sorry, Caleb, I've got one more. Where must the ritual be completed? The gate lies in the center of the city's ruin. I think that's, is that five? Center. That was five. <laughs> and it slumps forward, face down, with it's a sickening flap. It's going to burn it out eventually. Yeah. Put a cloth over the head. Um, there is one more call we could make. Essex. Essex could, could let him know everything. Everything. That trouble's coming. Okay. What kind of trouble, what words to look up, what to research. There's no sense playing ridiculous political games right now. Yeah. I don't know if we want to tell Essex that there is a potential way to plug into the greatest minds well, of the arcane in all history. I think we are a little more honest with him and tell him that that's absolutely not what this is. That's, that's a lie. This is destruction. There's no, there's no knowledge in that thing. It is a, there's nothing to be learned from that kind of chaos. That's what is just stopping, it, what, what makes you think he doesn't already know all of this and isn't in pursuit of it in himself? He's a dope ass mage, just like she was. Sneaky I feel thought. like he'd be out here already, but. Maybe he's, Maybe he just has a few different pieces of the puzzle, and we've got the others. We've convinced him to listen to reason once. That's all I have. I honestly don't trust him enough. Yeah, why is Maybe we can tell him just enough. We, we already know. That we need his help to stop the tomb takers, that the tomb takers are trying to bring back an entity that is. A city sized entity that will. destroy bring everything. Chaos. I mean, we already know that the dynasty and the empire are fighting for relics and knowledge from this place. We know that's why he's here. We just don't know the specifics. I mean, what advantage would we give, though? Even if we say there's an enemy coming, that doesn't change anything. We need to take away like a key component of what they're looking for. Maybe, Maybe there's a lodestone at Aeor. Maybe they need to remove it themselves. Take Maybe he the can key. find the site. Maybe he can find another component before they do. Yeah. Lock it down. Right. It's not so much defending the city or stopping them. Maybe they need to take the last piece and move. I, I think it's foolish to ignore allies right now, even if they are shifty. This is this is all hands. I'm not just suggesting we ignore allies. I am just laying out the fact that we are in a rat race that we only know a part of the rules of. Yes, if we pull him in, I don't want to whet his appetite for the same thing that Vess hungered for. Agreed. Okay. I don't have enough words to really whet his appetite in that <laughs> way anyway. Wait. Wait. When I saw the vision of the city, did it feel as disturbing? <laughs> as it did when we saw it um, with avocado. <laughs> I always think avocado. Yeah. Equally, if not more so, even though the vision was but an instant, you felt a prolonged view. You sensed this bottomless hunger that seemed to emanate from it. You swear at one moment you saw a shifting piece of ethereal rock, like so many that just drift through the astral plane, draw near for the island stretched like a pseudopod and <clears throat> consumed it and expanded ever so slightly. As you think back, you remember seeing the streets empty, but you could hear voices, hundreds of voices. 
sourceless, whispering, screaming, non-stop, this nightmarish cacophony of torment and confusion and laughter and memory. And yet there were still minds amongst them that were stronger than the others. And you kind of shake your head. Like, the more you think back, the more kind of details click in from that vision, and it makes it even more terrifying. I imagine it's one of those things that take root, that you can't shake it Mm -hmm. once you've seen it. So Vess wanted her own consciousness to be uh, uplifted, uh, to be joined with. I don't think like their souls have become light. I don't think she understood oh, the nature of this thing. I don't either, but she thought that when it, it, it came back, she would she would be a, a even more powerful maid. Yeah, right? there's, she would there's no coming back from this thing. It's in my head, and there is no. <clears throat> This is, there's no coming back from this thing. It's, it can't be. The, 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 the vision had hundreds or thousands of voices co-mingling together, but a few stronger within. Maybe they are the eyes of nine. Yeah. Maybe it is Absolutely. every person who ever lived in the city, and it's ruling nine. And there's an offer to the Nonagon to join the club. Or at least they think so. Yeah. We have to stop it. Group of mages thought that they were, I don't know, saving their city, and instead they damned it to insanity and an internal astral sea. I think perhaps you're too kind to their intentions. Did she give us any any um, concrete thing to look for at, at A2? No, another just. Crests? She said more crests, right? But she didn't say any other type of item, so it's just crests that we know of. I think it's probably more, but and again, it's not like she can't lie or not know. So the trouble with this is drives. they can say whatever they like. Do your best to gain trust, but it, it's a crapshoot. How many days are we away from A2? One, one day. One day. Be there tomorrow. One day. Um, More. I'm going to stick my head out and just for um, giggles, um, poke locate creature to see if Lucian's within a thousand feet. Ooh. You're gonna peep, pop, peep your head out of the uh, the tower first, right? Mm-hmm. They would have had to travel pretty fast to. <laughs> yeah, they would. Well, as you lean outside of the entrance, your mind reaching out magically for the possible presence of Lucian, the Nonagon. In the cold wind that's blowing the lightless night, you sense nothing. Oh. I pop back in. It's either very, very much ahead of us or reasonably behind us. Right. Should I send a message to Essek? Yes. Saying <clears throat> what? Just, Just bad guys know. are coming. Bad guys are coming. Find a crest and hide it. Yeah. We're going to summon something dangerous, and it's going to be bigger than we can hand anyone can handle. We have to stop them. And yeah. Okay. People are here, they are not the Empire, they are not the Dynasty, they are outsiders. And all we know is they are dangerous, which is the truth. Okay. Send a message to Essek. All right. We should hit 8-2 tomorrow. 8-2 tomorrow. There's a group of villains on the way. We have to stop the Messick. They, 
They plan to release something terrible. Well, you portend something frightful. I have my responsibilities, but if I can be of aid, please let me know. I trust your guts. He says he'll help if we need him. Oof. I'm going to go to bed. Okay. We are exhausted. The rest of you as well? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, okay. I'm going to make my way over to Jester's room. Okay. And knock on the door. She goes to bed at eight o'clock now. Because <laughs> yeah, six o'clock. <laughs> early, early dinner. I hear the game show network inside yeah. the room. <laughs> <laughs> I'm asleep. <laughs> oh boy. You sugar today, did you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See her teeth. Hello? <laughs> Just Hello? <coming> in. <laughs> um. I was really worried about you when you fell. Yeah. This suddenly feels far more serious than I thought it might be. I know. I can't get the image of it out of my head. It's scary. What do you think will happen? I think if they bring it back, it will, um, it will absorb everything it can. It felt like all of the people that lived there, like, like they were part of the city now, like they could never escape. It felt like a hell. It felt like torment. And we have to stop it, right? Yeah. I, I may have a, uh, a problem. What um, is it? I saw you standing on that pillar, and it was the first time where I kept myself from trying to stop something that was happening to you, and I, I didn't do anything, and it's, it's bothered me. I couldn't have done anything, Ford. It was in my head, you know? Uh, yes. I don't want you to gamble with yourself. I, I know we were playing and it didn't seem like much and it seems to have exacted a pretty serious toll. All I'm saying is, I just I want you to be careful as we do this. I don't think we'll be the spectators that we thought we might be. Okay. I want to come out of this and be able to go back to the sea and go back to Nicodronus and go back to where it's warm and not fucking freezing and... Me too. I just don't know if that's, I don't feel as optimistic now. Me neither. But, I'll try to be safe. And you should too. But if it comes down to it, if if it means stopping that thing, I want to stop that thing. I told your mother I would look after you. Yeah, 
will be fine, Ford. We always are. I care very much for you. Really? Is it because I have chiseled cheekbones now? It's the longer horns. Yeah, it really does it, doesn't it? Yeah. It gives you an intimidating look. <laughs> and I pull her in. Can I kiss you? <laughs> I kiss her. I don't, I don't know how this will go, but I can't promise that I'm gonna let you just throw yourself at this thing. I don't think I can do that. I don't have an argument. <laughs> Kissing is a lot more fun when you're not dying. Oh, and, and not when you're underwater drowning. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to do with myself anymore. <laughs> I've wanted to do it for a while. I'm <laughs> kind of a big coward. No, Ford, you're very brave. I am very brave, aren't I? feel a bit better. Me too. Are we sure we have to go fight this city? We have we could to just go leave. fight this city. We have to fight tower. it for. We could take cats and just flee. We have to fight it. All right. I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> okay. Good night. Good night, Fort. I'll leave. <laughs> I'll just go, just go lay in bed and hold up my little unicorn figurine and fall asleep holding it. I don't sleep much. <laughs> <laughs> As the rest of you find sleep in your corresponding chambers, Closing the final night before your arrival at the second Aeorian excavation. We're going to take a break. <laughs> we'll be back here in a few minutes to pick up from there. Yeah. Love is real. Yeah. This guy did it. You did it. The guy who never said he'd role play romance initiated. I'm proud of you, buddy. I know. Five years. Look at that. This. This oh, is character yeah. growth. <laughs> like, I'm not talking about Ford. No. I'm talking about Travis. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's hiding his face. I, I know. It. It's good. It's good. And how was it? Uh, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, we'll see you guys back here in a few oh, minutes. <laughs> right. Hey, critters, Laura Bailey here. Let's see what's up in the Critical Role shop. I mean, the traveler always says impulse purchases are a good decision. It's perfect for the home or the office or your bathroom. Oh my gosh, it's so amazing. Ooh, look at this. Look at the details. Ooh. These holidays, you know, they're just around the corner. So click on over to the Critical Role shop. <laughs> Don't worry, there's a few more minutes in the break. You still got time. Jester is screwed. It takes her 20 minutes just to cross the street and another 10 to find the building. <laughs> Oh.
Oh god, this was so hysterically funny. <sighs> and I'm punchy. Aha. Uh -huh. It takes her 20 minutes just to cross the street and another 10 to find the building. When she finally gets to the second floor, <laughs> Get it together, get it together, here we go. <clears throat> when she finally gets to the second floor, she manages to land in a curtained window. But then, she spends another 20 minutes eating the curtains. You just won the Super Bowl. What are you going to do now? I'm subscribing to Critical Role! Wonderful! Yeah. And that's... It's about perseverance. Like remembering to resubscribe with Twitch Prime every month. Yeah. Yes. Ooh, 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 ooh. Well, could you... Well, I've done it without my teammates? Come on. No way. And they couldn't have done it without the Twitch subscriptions that I gave them. Right, guys? Yeah. Okay, Sam, but what about... Oh, uh, what about what about what inspires me, you mean? Well, Yeehaw Game Ranch really does. I mean, watching that dehydrate hydrated piece of string cheese Brian Foster every couple weeks really gets me pumped for the big game! Sam, <laughs> hold on. We have to... Can't be, you can't believe it? You can't believe it? Is that what you said? Well, it's true, because every Yeehaw VOD is instantly available as soon as you subscribe! It's amazing! Sam! We did it, guys! Sam! Yeah! Yeah! Sam! Yeah! What? Sorry. Just say I'm going to Disneyland. You're doing a commercial for Disneyland. Oh. Uh... What's well, a Disneyland? I don't know. I, I gotta be honest with you. I, oh! I got hit in the head pretty hard out there. Oh my god. Whew, uh, I'm not good at sports.
Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Are we even trying to count? <laughs> no. You're no. like, I got a good one. Oh, we're already on. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh. So, oh. after you all complete your evening's rest, you all gather for breakfast the next morning. Uh, some probably a little more awkward than others. What do you mean? <laughs> but nevertheless, Meals are had, supplies are gathered, and Dagon preps to take you out once more into the icy tundra towards your nearby destination of the A2 excavation. So, do you have everything you need? Anything you wish to do before you leave, or? Oh, 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 we have to check in. We have to check back in. Yes, with Udalafon, please. Jester. Yes. Jester, I found this <clears throat> pill box. Is this, do you take all of these now? Yeah, I I need them all. Wow. Yeah, my doctor recommends, Okay. you know, I okay. have a high blood pressure. Why are there yeah. Metamucil and grape nuts in the <laughs> breakfast mix? Yeah. What's this can of liquid? There's one for every <laughs> day. Sure, <laughs> yes. Montag, Dienstag, Mittwoch, Donnerstag, yeah. Grape nuts are good. Grape nuts are good. They are good. Uh, For your bowels. You're yogurt. a crazy person. <laughs> yeah. It just yeah. Is like That's dirty. gravel and milk. That's bullshit. I used to eat grape nuts, but you have to pour sugar over the top of them. Well. Right, because they suck. Yeah, there's, there's, there's certain cereals that are just, you're just <laughs> taking penance. Who doesn't yeah. like yeah. Like, they're just, you're just, you're trying to make up for something you did wrong in your life, yeah. and this is your way of feeling better grape about it. Grape nuts feel like they never go away in the bowl. Like as you eat they them, they they regenerate. You can't, you can't see it. it just no, like, like I said, sediment. penance. <laughs> yeah. Pretend I was the rock guy. This guy got like, by like, grapes. So, so anyway, yeah. is there anything else you would wish to do before you <laughs> make to the next leg of your well, adventure? I'm journey? just exfoliating my colon. <laughs> exfoliating. All righty. Um, yes, we're we're sending a message to Udala Fon. Yes. All right. <clears throat> Is there anything else you want me to say, Bo, or, or is it just, it what is. did you find? Oh, right. Uh, She's got the info. Yeah, I don't, I didn't. It would take okay, me a fine. minute. Okay. Um, Checking back in, Five what did you find? It's gonna be. If you don't have enough words, find someone that can send a message to Bo. <clears throat> it's a spell. I'm sure they can figure it out. <laughs> so they can figure <clears throat> The response comes to you. Good morning. Uh, it was difficult to research, but we found something. Records say of the multiple wards of the lost city of Eor, the Cognoso ward was a section of the city. Cognoso ward. Oh. Lord. So it was just a neighborhood. Mm -hmm. It's a neighborhood. Mm -hmm. It's not a person, it's not a thing, it's a, it's a neighborhood. Oh, to which right. a follow up <gasps> uh, message yes. comes to you. Oh, wait, send it to Bo. I guess it sends to me. Whichever works, it's fine as long as the information is through. Continuing the conversation to mm -hmm. you, just because it's, mm, it's weird. It's, it's weird to otherwise be like finish half a conversation Sorry, to one person and the next. Yeah. Uh, Novum. Somnovum. Uh, has something to do with the leadership of that particular ward. That is all that we have. That was super helpful. That is awesome. Thank you so I'm much. Bo is super excited about that information. You rock. Yeah. Talk soon. No further response. <laughs> you sense likely some appreciation from that. <laughs> the Mines of Cognosa, orchestrated as oh, its escape. So like some sort of mage. The Cerberus assembly of its Yes, mind. 100%. And they jettisoned their own neighborhood while Aeor, Aeor was being destroyed, or Aeor jettisoned them? Or maybe they, maybe they brought down Aeor, contrary to popular belief, From inside. to somehow save themselves. Maybe they figured out how to save themselves and the people in that ward by destroying everything. The rest of the city or yeah. something? Or at least turning themselves into something that could survive. Yeah. I'm sure they had very good rationalizations for themselves. Yeah. Why bring back the Somnovum to become one of the great minds? Okay. 
All right. Hmm. We should. We should. Uh, we're so ready for this. We should head to uh, A2 A2, and two, and try yeah, to get a uh, crest. Mm-hmm. What's better than one all-powerful circle of mages, but two all-powerful circles of mages? And are we one of the two? No, no we are. Oh, oh, really are over. you including <laughs> the dynasty? Is that the third? Or is that like a broken one? You know what? Let's not count. That's mages. like a half circle. Or? They are our ancestors. Ah. Let's press on. Mm hmm. A2. A2. All right. Get your shit and follow. He pushes his way out into the snow. You all follow suit and begin the final leg of your trek. You continue on for roughly three or so hours before you find yourselves approaching. Do we lose our exhaustion? Yes. You do, yes. yes. Yeah. Oh, we God. clean as well. So you are now good. <clears throat> you begin to notice you approach a small, jagged range of rocky hills and small spires that seem to peek through the snow and ice. Advancing up the rough slopes, eventually, uh, Dagon leads you to a rope climb to a small cliff face above. Looks over to the rest of you. All the previous times I brought people here for the trek, they all kind of went up that way. Come on. He goes and wraps the rope and then hand over hand lifts him and his chair up along the cliff face. Damn. Before eventually getting to the edge and you can see there's like a, a metallic pike of some kind that's jammed into the rock and he uses that to lift himself over and then with one strong show of core strength, get him and the chair up onto the cliff face. So you coming? And he wheels off. Sure, just like that. I want his upper body strength. Uh, I, I want Jeez. that. Can I have that? Strength. That's very impressive. I'll go, for, I'll go for it if no one else. Just that way there's more people for me to fall on. Uh, <laughs> guidance. Go for it. Is it a, a acrobatics or? We'll say for the purposes of this, it's a challenge, challenge. but with a little bit of help, with some of your friends, one by one, you can all make it there. I'm not going to have to make a whole skill check to have to climb 25 feet. Fair. I would, so I, lo I, lo I love you jumping into it. That I would fall. Great. I would fall anyway, which is why I was excited. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. I got enough. You. Now, to be fair, you, you could be Yasha's could chair. She could probably carry you up the same way. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, uh, <laughs> not using your legs. Yeah. yeah. Yep. That's very much great. You just stopped me from falling and turning into a T Rex in response. Yeah. That works <laughs> All right. Oh. As you all eventually climb to the top, you only see before you this kind of pockmarked snow and slate plateau at the top. Still jagged in places, but it seems to have leveled off at this point. And at first glance, you don't really see any signs of an excavation. I'd be careful where you step. It's just rocks everywhere? Oh. The snow may have covered up the edge. Yeah, we just recently went through a snowstorm. You don't want to fall through any crevices. Uh, Dagon can also be this. That was very astute of you. I did take one crew here once before, and they had a fellow that walked out and just vanished. Ooh. Yeah. I mean, they eventually found him, a little broken in the bottom, but uh, somewhere around here there's kind of a, an illusory blanket. Hide in the entrance. Oh. Mm. So just. Uh, How do we find it? Carefully. Uh, I'll throw up detect magic. Nice. Okay. And start slowly inching along. You detect a mass illusion that blocks a large portion of this region. Uh, it is permanently installed, it seems. Okay. Um, but. You could you could try and scan through and see if you could peer through it for those who I will. are of like mind. All right, make an investigation check. Guided. Natural twenty. Ooh, yeah, let's go. To a total of. Oh, uh, for, with investigation. Mm -hmm. uh, Thirty-one. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa! With a brief glance, you immediately can see the pattern out there, and there is a a little bit of a shimmer. Where as you focus, you can see there's kind of an echo in the shadow, and there you can tell there is a very faint opening. And once you see that, you kind of point it out to everybody else, and the illusion seems to almost, once you click in, it's, it's like seeing a magic eye image, where once you focus, all of a sudden you're like, oh, oh, well that's been there the whole time. 
Hmm. Indiana Jones Invisible Bridge. Good. Yeah, uh-huh. anything. Uh-huh. Good pull. <laughs> Sailboat. I, I turn to the group and carefully say, go. <laughs> <laughs> you got to. Go. Beneath this <laughs> illusory self, as you as you get low, you can actually look beneath the line, because you, as you walk towards it, you can see elements of your heels begin to kind of absorb into the snowfall that's guided the area, but there's no resistance in the snow. Uh, peering beneath, you can see there is a 15-foot chasm a little ways ahead of you, that just descends directly below. And you can already see what looks to be kind of a rickety series of wooden steps and platforms that begin to spiral down the side. Those look safe. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I mean, that's the way down, right? Yeah, apparently. Y'all have fun. I'm going to set up camp somewhere around here, out of sight. Yes, hi. About to say, best be out of sight. The last time we, we went up, they had killed the scout, the person that was uh, standing guard, so. Right, so the same folks that were uh, yeah. out there, they're coming as well? Probably. Good to know, I'm going to be, you can do that weird mistress thing, right? I can. Just let me know when you're when you're coming back, So I'm going to be ways off. Okay. Uh, stay out of sight, a little tucked away. All right, good luck. Don't die. Thank you. If you do, just leave some gold. <laughs> Sure. All right. And he heads us off in kind of a, a this would be a north northwestern direction from where you currently stand, trying to find some path out of sight. So, who would like to descend first, and in what order? Leo. I'll go first, and I'll look for traps. All right. Who'd be going after? There is just enough room to go single file around. The edge of this chasm. So, who would be next after? I uh, uh, I look at Veth <coughs> and I unbuckle my goggles. Oh, yes. Still right. not a gift. Sure. Just. Oh, I dropped a oh, goggle. No! <laughs> <laughs> wow, that could not have gone worse. <laughs> <laughs> you are three feet away. <laughs> you weren't made him. Got him. <laughs> a massive. Monster grow. <laughs> I'll go next. All right. I'll go after that. I'll go. So, Bo, are you going after Veth? Mm, no. So, Yasha, and then who's after Yasha? Uh, I Caduceus. Am. Caduceus already. Clear. I'll go after you. Okay. And then Jester. Clear sure. to the middle. Caleb takes the rear. And then Caleb takes the rear. Four, I'll go last. I'll, I'll bring up the rear. So. Bo what also takes, takes the rear. The rear. <laughs> <laughs> There's two reels. <laughs> <laughs> you guys get to decide who gets to be in the rear. Uh, I mean, that's her. Bald and parchment shears. Bald and parchment shears. Bald and parchment shears. I was just going to let her push me out of the way, but. Oh, well, that works too. Whatever yeah, I like. Bolder, bolder, Do you want to, I was just, you know, squishy people in the middle, so. Uh, Protecting what's most valuable, you know. Bald and parchment shears. Do it. All right, all well, right, all right. It's weird with two people. It but. is. <laughs> I'll play. Eins, zwei. <laughs> Sorry. No. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry. You don't know. One, two, three. One, two, three. It was, it was a Zemnian. <laughs> <laughs> I've always done one, two, three, shoot. We can't even get it right when it's kid. as intended. But, huh? Nothing, you continue. You were so Earth. slow, it kind of threw off the rhythm. Is it, so okay, we're going a four, one, we're going two, three, a three. One, two, three, shoot, or whatever you do, I'll do. You, what's, what's the Zemnian way? It's oh Rebo Rocky. It's dumb, dumb, dumb. Eins, zwei, drei, shoot. Eins, zwei, drei, shoot. Eins, zwei, drei, shoot. Shoot, throw on four, throw on four. All right, all right, throw on four, throw on four, throw on four. Eins, zwei, drei, shoot. All right, all right, go. Eins, zwei, drei, shoot. Fuck. Eins, zwei, drei, shoot. Oh. Caleb takes the rear. We put that out. All righty. Very important. It's not over or but under, you guys. Is. Over or under? <laughs> All right. Go, 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 go. So you're looking for traps, you said? I'm looking for traps! <laughs> Make an investigation or perception check, your call. Investigation. <clears throat> yes! Uh, 26. 26. All right. Glancing about, you don't see any traps. You do see the relatively dangerous nature of the platforms that you're descending on. A lot of the wood here is. Been weathered, um, and you can see the platform isn't continuous. It'll continue and spiral down with some like heavy steps, some some steep steps, and then the platform will just stop. There is a rope that drops down about thirty feet, and then there is the next platform that switches back. And but every single platform you reach, the minute it takes any weight, you hear that. 
Next step. Oh, bad. Doesn't sound good for us non monks. I know. Mm. But Shh. no traps. Okay. So you all continue to follow suit, carefully just, making your way. Just, just paying attention to the sound. Should we get out a length of rope and just hold on to that shit? Yeah, it might not be a bad idea. Yep. That's a good idea. Wait, yeah. all of us hold the same rope? So mm-hmm. if one person falls down, they pull everyone else with them? No, everyone else catches that person. Everyone well, has the weight them. distribution is hopefully in the favor of the group and not the one person falling. Not oh, that I'm a physicist. I see that as a charm brace, they're going <laughs> right. off the side. Right. But well, we could do a science experiment. I will turn into a bat. You know, <laughs> bat. bat? <laughs> okay. Rope. 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 Yeah. We're not. I do it. We're just holding, holding on to it. So yeah. Fifty like feet of rope. Everybody, wrap it around your wrist. Grab it and pass it to the person in front of you. All right. <laughs> Continuing further down, further down, further down, the pit goes 60, 80, 100 feet down. The daylight fades as shadow begins to take the path downward. You, thankfully, with the goggles you borrowed from Bo can keep an eye, but eventually you're going to need an additional light source as no sunlight is making its way through. Both. Well, I can uh, do the globules, yeah. I'll just I can light up too. Okay. Keep them fairly dim. Okay. They're already dim, but more You stuff. got it. Continuing down, you notice as the platform begins to shift to the left, the pit begins to angle slightly, mm. almost like the slope begins to form, and immediately you can see there is a sheet of ice that is gathered, making it extremely slick. However, the last length of rope on that final platform before reaching this section continues down, and you could repel carefully down the side of the ice yeah. if you'd like. Yeah. Um, for each of you repelling down, I would like you to make either uh, an athletics or acrobatics check. Should we disconnect from our rope? Or yeah, 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 we'll yeah. Keep on our rope. Yeah, we need to let go. Okay. Athletics or acrobatics? Hmm. 28 for Such me. Great choice. 16. <laughs> Ooh. 19. 19? Ooh. Oh no. Boy. Uh, 28. 24. 23. 20 total, and then also some unarmored movement wall walking shit. You got it. Dope monk shit. So as all of you begin to repel <laughs> down the edge of the the slope, it only goes for about 15, 20 feet before it then continues into another drop into black nothingness below. And about 15 feet below the rotation into a solid pit once more, the walls give way. So suddenly you are just lowering yourself into a black abyss. Oh By rope. By and rope. you rolled a one. And as you guys are realizing that, Caleb, part way into the repelling, your feet go out from under you as you try and reach for the rope. Your other foot kind of kicks the rope out from the side as the way you fall, and you're on your back, upside down, sliding down the ice. Is he sliding past all of us since he was last? He would be, yes. So can we try to catch him on the way? Uh, the next person from there would be Beauregard. Oh, oh, Bo, yeah. Go ahead and make. Let's go, DMS. I will say, go ahead. Missile. Go ahead and make a, an athletics check on this one. I will say. Grabbing things, strength. Oh wait, is he a missile? <laughs> I will say no. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Not great. Fifteen. That's enough. Oh okay. Enough. Okay. It, well, it wasn't terribly challenging, but because of the the arrangement, and he was the last one. Thankfully, that did work in your favor. So as he mm-hmm. streaks by, you're just now cresting over the edge, and you see him <laughs> scrape past. You reach out, grab him, and the rope kind of lurches for a second, just from the physicality of everything. And you all you all hear that as Bo groans with the shoulder being pulled like ever so faintly out of the socket before she pulls it back in. Come but on. you are cut. And as you all below are kind of dangling now, any sort of movement at the top of the rope just sends further waves down to the rest of you, who are just free dangling. Ah, What's going on? Ah, oh, sorry. Ah. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Four, oh, are you holding? Yeah, I'll, I'll climb back up a little bit. And I'll grab pull. like a booster his ass or something. Yeah, I actually grab his like shins with my arm and like push him back over to the rope. You have it? Do you have it? It takes a moment, but you do manage to <clears throat> readjust yourself and get back a hold of the rope. Your physical prowess has saved my magic for another day. Oh, <laughs> fucking, I think you broke my shoulder. Okay. 140 pounds. <laughs> That's a lot. So, Veth, do you continue to descend <laughs> the rope? Yeah. I'm descending the rope. <laughs> As you begin to lower down into the dark expanse, you can look up at the roof where the pit was, and you can see that it's a hole in a ceiling. The ceiling itself is an odd, almost pyramid like apex from what little bit of light there is, but it's a gradual separation that then goes into darkness. You cannot see the walls, you cannot see where it ends, but you are at not the direct apex, but some element near the top of this angled, vaulted roof. You continue to lower down, lower down, looking for any sign of floor or end to this, but because the light sources are above you, you're having to rely upon the catching up of Caduceus and uh, Caleb, even with your dark vision goggles, you don't have the sure, yeah. uh, the most extreme vision. Eventually, you glance down because it gives you sixty feet, right? Or is it fifty? Goggles. Thirty feet. Goggles. goggles. Yeah. Sixty feet. Sixty feet. Yeah. You do begin to see the floor begin to approach finally, and it brings a sense of relief to you. Mm -hmm. uh, glancing below, you can already see that there's a tangled spread of broken shale and small patches of snow all across the floor below you. Uh, it is a broken mess of a floor, but it looks safe to land. And the rope that you're on does eventually come and curl to the bottom with an additional 40 to 50 feet of slack. Right. Yeah. You lower down, you touch, and look up as each of you carefully, one by one, descend to the bottom of this chamber. Looking up, you can just barely see the faint, faint bit of light that, by comparison to this dark interior, you can see just the faintest essence of reflected daylight that just barely outlines like the very, very tiniest sliver of an eclipse where you first arrived. As you look around you, you can see what looks to be remnants of tools, some pickaxes. You can see a couple of empty, discarded oil lanterns. You can see uh, looks to be a bedroll of some kind that's been placed at the side. This looks like a camping location for excavation crews that have come through. Um, it seems most everything, at least in the immediate vicinity, has been picked clean or destroyed. I'm going to cast Locate Object. Okay. And I'm going to try to find a threshold crest. Okay. It doesn't quite click in yet, but there is a uh, duration on that, correct? 10 minutes. 10 minutes, okay, good to know. Right as you finish that, you hear a voice ring out from the shadow around you. Halt! You are surrounded! Identify your purpose and allegiance, or be shot down where you stand. Do we have any idea or indication of accent? accent yeah. Uh, you would that gather. Italian. <laughs> Tony! Holy shit! Dude. It's been so long. What are you doing here? It's been you, ten years. You've heard uh, elements of it seem to be empire-ish. Uh, some r regions around Hupperduk uh, seem to lean into this variation within uh, kind of the Zemnian region. So it does seem to have an element of empire root. We are. Uh of the Empire from outside of Rexentrum, although we travel far afield. Unofficial business. Under whose watch? Tricky we have been question. sent here by oh. Lady de Rogna of the Cerberus Assembly. And there's a pause. All right, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Here's some shuffling, and carefully stepping into the light, you see this tiny middle-aged no man by himself. His hair is kind of 
kind of tattered up and tangled, kind of a, a dark brown color, kind of gray towards the edges of his temples, kind of salt and pepper. He has a, a chin beard that looks like it's just kind of just been left to grow and curl it on itself, where it kind of gives this fuzzy chin strap that's big and thick. Um, he looks like he's suffered a little bit of frostbite, maybe in the tip of his nose at some point in his age, and it's just a little dark and nubbed at the edge, but he kind of looks up at you all with thick furs and equipment on his back, and he goes, all right, um, I'm, I'm Iva. I, Iva? Iver. 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 Klim Tava, um, I am uh, actually here under um, Zana Delio, the apprentice to the Ludinus uh, Deleth. Um, have you been sent as a, a backup, as the uh, requested backup? Oh. From the Martinet, you mean? Well, I, the, the, I sent out a request. Uh, the, the initial uh, party, of which I was the lookout for, um, has not returned in days, so I, I was requesting for backup. Yeah, well, Lady Duragna uh, has arranged for us to be here in, in the frozen north. Oh, yeah. thank goodness, thank goodness. I was also very happy. I'm glad you, you could come. Gesundheit. Gesundheit. Thank you. Um, it's very cold down here. It is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I've not heard from, from Zana or the rest of our troop, and uh, I'm starting, starting to go a little. Um, a little scared, a little crazy. Yeah, it little, seems um, to be going around. We are out of touch with our... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Could you bring know. additional f food, perhaps? I'm running a little low on supplies. Where Where are the others Ooh. who had us surrounded? Oh, it's just me, I... Oh, oh. Yeah, let me, like I, I have some provisions here. Oh. Um, these are called boba. And <laughs> he like grabs them and he's like, <clears throat> gentle. Just yeah. one. Just one. one a day. I know they look small. You will regret if you have even two. It will fill your colon like like all stone, liquid. Oh, I, am ex I find extreme importance in colon health, so I appreciate you letting me know. <laughs> Clearly. Okay. Just, yeah. He wraps them in like a handkerchief and puts them in a pocket. Okay. How long have you uh, been here, friend? Uh, I've been here about uh, a week. And a half, I think. I don't know. Time's a bit strange in these caverns. There's not a lot of light. Uh, it could be fast, longer, uh, shorter. I don't know. What day is it? Where? Well, um. Have you seen a big gem about this big? Maybe smaller. Maybe bigger. No, I've mainly just stayed uh, in in this area. I did wander a little bit into uh, the uh, the northeastern region, uh, but then I heard some very terrible noises from one of the other regions, so I just came back in here and hit. And uh, what happened? Where's the rest of your team? I don't know. They, they, they've they been excavating in and out and gathering information and, and uh, findings, uh, but they just have not returned in some time. How many Which, were in your party? Uh, originally it was, uh, would have been six, including myself, um, but now uh, I do not know where they are. Uh, they might be lost, they might be abandoned, uh, or worse. We can try our best to find them. It would help us to know, um, you know, which which pathway they, they took last, but also, um, was if your mission was similar to ours, um, for, the, the Ludinus, Ludinus sent you? Uh, well, uh, I I was brought here by Azana. Uh, so. She apprentices under Ludinus, um, but, uh, you know, it was, well, or you work with the assembly. Ah, it's fine. Uh, we, we are one of the the uh, cycling crews, um, expedition crews, Delvis. Um, I, I feel like we skipped over something. Hold on. Weird noises, elaborate. Uh -huh. Oh, um, sounds like a, you ever heard like a, like a baby crying? Yes. But like, deeper. Yes. Big like that. Oh. Deep. Well, that's odd. Big baby. Yeah. It was like a baby. scary big baby, or just a, oh, that would be really cute if I were larger big baby? I don't know if cute is the word I would use. that just sound like an adult crying? No, that's <laughs> You'll know what I mean when you hear it. <laughs> <laughs> just asking, you know, just no, that's, that's <laughs> an adult baby. <laughs> I mean, it's, and, and, you have a fair point there. And again, though, just just general excavation, or were you looking for something specific? Oh, I wasn't given more instructions than was necessary. I was just brought along to keep watch and uh, you know, maintain the base camp here. Great, great. 
When were you expecting them to return? Initially, it was only supposed to be like a, a four-day uh, delve. Uh, this was the supplies they had for it, so I ran out um, in that allocated time and never had to get creative. And how did you request backup? Oh, uh, well, I didn't request it, but whenever things go wrong, there is a request for backup, and I, I assumed that uh, the individuals who went ahead of me had requested with your arrival, so. There is a great deal of trouble uh, in multiple areas here. In fact, I don't want to alarm you, but in addition to the dangers within, uh, there are dangers without as well, and we are worried that people who have uh, goals contrary to those of the Empire are, are converging on this place as well. So if you are to remain, we must find a way for you to keep hidden, and I, I do not recommend risking your skin like you just did with us. Right. If we I, are followed I can, in. I can, I can remain hidden quite well. Um, well. Now that I know your voice, Prince, it should be easy enough for you to call to me when it's safe. I can just stay out of sight, especially now that I have these uh, strange little um, colon balls that you gave me. Yes. Aside from the noises you said when things went wrong, what else went wrong? Well, uh, as far as I know, in part of the, the challenge of excavations like this is there are still uh, arcane devices and uh, entrapments and protections that are active even after all this time, so there must be care taken in excavating. Um, there was a device uh, shortly into our arrival that was um, stumbled upon. That sent a, a, a great bit of, of, of pain through me and my troop, uh, but we survived, and uh, they continued on after some rest. And I've decided once again to just not go anywhere else. <laughs> and is that further within? Uh, well, that originally occurred uh, in that chamber. He points to the northeast. He goes, but there are, there are two other chambers. Uh, they were last seen going the westward chamber. And he points in kind of the western direction. Okay. Uh, the southeastern, I have not been to. Can I go up to the, the edge of each one of those and feel, see if I, I get a little ping? Going up to the edge of each, you do not get a ping yet. Fuck. And it's it's uh, northeast, north and... Northeast, southeast, and west. Uh, Zana that you mentioned, is uh, she? Zana is a she, yeah. She, is she an annex? Uh, yeah, I think annex is, is the word. Um, I, I am not uh, of the assembly, but they do hire me on occasion to uh, to assist when coming through. Of course, we are the same. Hmm. I'm going to try for divine intervention right now. Okay, okay. go for it. What are you wanting to divine or I intervene? Want the traveler. I'm going to say, can you help us? Can you help us get what the tomb takers are after? Okay, go ahead and roll. Mm -hmm. oh, you shifty fuck. No. no. Fuck. Too shifty. That's a good idea. I'm he leans into your ear and goes, I would if I really had a, any more idea than you do, but uh, I'll keep an eye out. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I think I'll do the same, see what happens. Whose god is better? No. <laughs> oh. Neither. <laughs> the Traveler leans back in your ear and goes, <laughs> like he thought she could do any better. I know, right? <laughs> I like how he. Hey, um, why? Oh, come on. I'm just saying. It seems come a bit on. uncouth to just immediately prey upon her and my incapabilities and go. Well, I'm certainly. Well, if you had I taken can. care of it, I wouldn't have made a point oh, of it. That's oh, that's. Oh well, fine. The gnome was like disagree. Um, who's, is this also in the assembly? It's very normal. Oh yes, yes, all yes board. he's very powerful. Mm, don't worry about it. <sighs> Close in his face, his eyes kind of blink, and the traveler vanishes. Oh, anyway, cool. um, there is. So cool. uh, I'm gonna hide. <laughs> yeah. Just call call me if you need anything, or if there's danger, or, or you found them, or you're running, uh, or, or you're dying. Just let me know if something's happening. <clears throat> of course, likewise, if you see anyone else entering the chamber, use that sturdy, intimidating voice of yours, eh? No, mm. don't, don't. If you see people entering the chamber, just hide, because they will kill you. Who do I, which one, what should I do? There's both two, they are that's, conflicting. That's two for hide and one for confront. Ah, sorry, hide wins. You know what, you know what though? 
as you hide, and I'll just pick up some tools off the ground. Here, take take these two, you know, uh, tips of axes or whatever, and if you're discovered, bang them together, and then it'll send a sound uh, that maybe we'll hear, and we'll come back and save you. Right, right. Scare off things with big noise. Sure, sure, sure. It works to get the raccoons out of my <laughs> home and growing Same up. Same thing, yes. All right, can, uh, I'll hide and prepare. <laughs> can commune if you think it's a good idea. Do you? Commune? Ten I mean, minutes? I can ask. Do we have Do time? What? Oh, one minute. Wait, no, don't take it just yet, because I have this locate object that right. I'm going to lose it. Mm, okay, let's, Yes, uh, yes, 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 yes. Northeast, southeast, and west. Like a Y. Any favorites? And you didn't get any pings. Mm. Well, they went west. They went west? That's the, the group last went west. And the chamber that you were in, was it a closed chamber and you definitely didn't see any big jewels? I mean, I mainly just stayed here. I went. I briefly stepped into the northeast chamber, and uh, I just decided when I hearing some of those noises uh, from right. So the big other baby chambers noises from northeast. Out. Well, I heard the noises coming from uh, this area, so it's one of the other chambers. But I began to delve into there and decided not to go any further. Uh, and I your party went west. Went west, yeah. And have you messed around with the southeastern chamber at all? No. No, I just stopped uh, going anywhere. I mean, best to stay put, you know. <laughs> Should we follow them or pick our own path? We should pick three different paths and split up. Deal. Good plan. Good plan. <laughs> no. so oh, we we'll cover more ground one, that way. <coughs> the one end that you. Uh, bless you, bless you. Bless. Right. The me. one uh, path that you looked in, and then one with the older baby noises, and then the one <laughs> with the the people that disappeared. Uh, I, I don't know which of the chambers the baby noises were coming from. I didn't hear them until I went into I the northeast okay. chamber. So it comes it from uh, one or the other two. I, mean, I just decided not to we check. We could split up mm. and and go just a little bit, mm. and then like radio to like message to one another. Mm. I don't like it. I don't like it. Let's just try for south. Yeah, I think that's okay. true. We'll get a little bit in if I get a ping. Cool. If not, do we we'll, we'll go back. We'll back okay, back okay, okay, okay. Put into the next. Why south? That's the one that we haven't. Explored. Haven't been. Whatever. Just We're pick one. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. You do. You do. You. You. Wherever you want to go. <laughs> All right. We're gonna go hide. Okay. Bye. <laughs> bye. bye. And he runs off into the shadows. You hear the footsteps. To right. the south. 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 It is. Southeast. All yeah. right. <clears throat> Heading in the southeast direction. You begin to notice as you open through this archway uh, from the chamber you're in what might have been a cobblestone street at one time. You can see these beautifully laid roadways ahead of you with looks like almost sidewalks, but they're broken and certain regions are pressed upward, almost like five or six feet. Like you know the end of Ghostbusters where the street begins to break up in different levels? It's like that multiple places across here. You can see uh, fallen over poles where it looks like bulbs that may have contained once arcane light sources have lost their power over time. You can see to the left, uh, and as you kind of glance up as the light emerges and you step into the beginning of this chamber, there is a massive angled stone slab that is currently covering what would have been the open sky of this road, a portion where the rock had fallen, this massive piece of stone that had crushed the left-hand side. So eventually it comes to a, a finite wedge and you cannot see what's crushed beneath that side of the ceiling. To the right, you can see numerous buildings some still standing, mostly, some that have toppled over and fallen. Their rooftops and upper chambers and levels now just crumbled debris, scattered across the roadway. Uh, the architecture itself is odd and beautiful. There, there is something very serene and, and uh, reminiscent of some of the finest universities or mage towers you've seen before, but with elements of Odd alien curves at times, almost like the, the the arches have a lot of oval elements to it, and there, there's there's an essence where, as opposed to the bases being just a blocky set, they tend to gradually hit the floor. Um, Veth, interesting point. There are elements this this kind of structural architecture that you've seen hints of before. Some odd element of Gelidon's lair. 
the white dragon. Oh, yeah. <gasps> mm. Oh, wait, I would have seen that too. You would have seen that as well. Oh. What? Oh, the machines behind the ice. The purple. Uh, Stuff yeah. that was hidden behind the ice walls yeah, could, that looked like. You can use a testament to how old his lair was. And it was cold as fuck. You see similar shapes. Everything has like a faint curve to it, and even at edges and corners, things seem to round off. Um, it's unique, but then much of it is fallen and desolate. Uh, you can continue to push forward. For those who are leading the charge, I would ask a perception check, please. Am I getting any kind of pings? Definitely got to check for trap. Not from this direction. I mean, it's a Not street. From this I'll look. Right? I'm just drinking in every inch of this place. I've, I've I just ran, ran my perception check, so. Okay. <laughs> 27. 25. 25, okay. Pressing forward slowly, carefully, as the light slowly expands, both yours and the orbs that you've summoned begins to reveal, stage by stage, the absolute destruction and faint hints of uh, protected echoes of the past, little glimpses of life from long ago. You can see a smashed cart in what looks to be kind of long, dried, partially uh, petrified elements of fruit. You can see skeletons broken and some chewed on and pulled apart. You both can see about 40, 50 feet ahead, near the interior base of one of these buildings, a very faint blue glow that catches your eye. It stands out amongst the absolute pitch black darkness that surrounds you beyond the radius of your 40, light. 40, 50 feet ahead? Mm -hmm. I'll burn a divine sense for celestial fiend or undead. Detect magic okay. is up. You sense nothing of that sort, which brings a bit of comfort to you. Mm -hmm. Detect magic? Mm -hmm. You sense it's hard to place. It's extremely powerful magic. Extremely powerful. Abjuration is the closest you can think of, but it it has an unfamiliar coloration to it. That's the best you can make out. It's uh, completely different than what the read I got off of the gem that Lucian as party took? Correct. Okay, something else entirely, like, but abjuration. Also the penance we needed to pay to get in, right, to the first chamber where Lucian was? That door? Uh, abjuration based? Oh, right, the, uh, right, right, right. Wow. Oh, the, the, the gem for, yeah, the gem for Lucian was uh, for, not teleportation, but that. Mm -hmm. It's possible it's not the same thing over and over again. It's possible different materials are required from yeah. different parts. Well, so the, this faint glow is from a room or just a point? It's coming from inside a room at the base of one of these buildings that is partially collapsed but still has a somewhat sound base structure on the bottom Does floor. Does it seem like it was once a grand building? This one in particular doesn't look like it's any, not like a special structure, it doesn't appear to be like a centerpiece of this street. And before Caleb does his thing, how high is the, this space? From where you're standing now, you have about 35 feet before the slate ceiling. Um, it, once again, the angle's pretty steep, so it widens up and you can see the buildings to the right side of this particular open uh, roadway. Two, even three-story buildings, for the most part, can be, fit within this space before it hits another stone wall to the left it completely cuts off and crushes what would have been the other side of the street. Smooth or broken like the pavement? Like is the ceiling? Uh, the ceiling is uh, broken stone. Like it's, it's a slab, it looks like a piece of heavy stone that like just <laughs> fell in and kind of leaned and crushed part of it and then left this kind of angled bridge over this. And the light is shining out of out of a building on our level or higher up? On your level, yeah. uh, you can't quite see the full source. You just see a faint blue glow that's kind of bouncing off the inside walls near the entrance. You'd have Let to get closer. Check it out. Yeah. All right, I'll, I'll scuttle ahead. Make a stealth check for me. See if there's stealth uh, 25. All right. Did you all advantage? I <clears throat> just did, and it's still 25. 
Alrighty. Moving forward, you glance around the edge, and in the inside of this chamber, you see a, a dome about 15 or so feet from side to side, the semi-translucent blue arcane energy that just gives off this faint blue radiance. Not like Caleb's dome. No, I mean, it's it's similar in shape, but it, it has a very different uh, luminescence to it, and it you can't quite see through it, though you do see there might be something within, but you'd have to get closer to peer through to even notice. And I'm outside the building looking in through like a window or a door? Like an, an archway that opens into the, the main chamber. All right, come check it out, everyone. Yep. I'll, I'll check for traps around the doorway. Make an investigation check while well, the rest of you gather up. Behind uh, it and or Veth and see this same thing. Does it appear like there are any other entrances to this room? Or this is it. This is the front entrance. Uh, from the glow that this kind of dome is giving off, you can see there would have been, uh, or there is a door on the opposite side of this room, like a double door, but both the doors are broken off the hinges, and on the opposite side, you can see just clusters of rocks that have kind of filled in that space. And it's just uh, 23 for 23? traps. You do not sense traps. And it's just the ceiling itself of the dome that's giving off this light? Uh, the entire dome is giving off this light. Right. It's not like a focal point or something that's shining, it's everything. No, the actual dome the itself, like an arcane uh, semi-sphere that is emanating a strong arcane glow. Writing, language, symbols. You don't see anything on it, no. Floor? So smooth wall. Uh, for, I mean, the, the, the dome? The dome itself is smooth and nondescript, other than it's shining? Correct, though, make a perception check. Yeah. Uh, 16. 16. You can't, you can't quite get a, a decent enough look to see what's within the dome. Like, the energy is a little too bright, and it's, it's obfuscating what might be within. Um, can I throw something at the dome? Back up a bit. I mean, is there anyone else in here? Are we, well, it's just us, right? Right now, it appears that way, yeah. Death Ward. Yeah, are there any, uh, that's a good question, are there any hidden hidden corners, or does it look like a, a square or like a rectangle where, like if we actually popped our head in, we could see our blind? Uh, from what you can tell from the, the blue glow that's kind of lighting the interior, it looks like the chamber is mostly rectangular. Okay. Like Pompeii. We just can't see on the other side. How tall is the dome? 15 feet from 15 side feet. to side, but. Hmm? Uh, side to side, 15 feet. Semi sphere, probably be about 10 feet tall. It's a big, big dome. Can't see it. So, I mean, like, dozens and dozens of people have been through here. And this thing is still up. Yeah, so yeah. either it's super duper trapped or we can just walk right in it and there's nothing in there. Any, and no ping from you, right? No ping. So we're, we're not where a threshold crest is. Might not even need this. Is the floor the same as it is outside of the archway? The roof for the interior of the room? Uh, the, the, the cobblestone paving seems to end, and the inside, it looks like it was once probably a smooth wood, though most of it is broken and splintered, and begin to warp and curl, and other elements are just broken stone and elements that have kind of either fallen inward from the destruction on the outside street, or small elements of the structure that have fallen in, but for the most part, it's, it's intact. Old protection magic? Essentially. I'm just going to take a knee and apparate Frumpkin. Take a circle around, go to the center and around the edges, please. Backing up a bit. Mm -hmm. Frumpkin does a perimeter around it. Go to the center. It, go in, into it? Into it? To the center of the room. Okay. Frumpkin goes to the center of the chamber. The, the, the dome is a little bit to the left side of it. Okay. Oh, then I steer him underneath the dome. Pumpkin mm. hits the dome. It's solid. Solid. Can we dispel it? Yeah, maybe. The uh, the wooden floor around it. Mm -hmm. It goes straight into the wooden floor. Yeah, it's, it meets the ground. There's no gap. Pop um. is a sphere. Mm-hmm. Can you? I don't know. Prom can knock. Maybe there's someone in there. Uh, yeah, he can give it his paw a couple times. Punk, punk, punk. It doesn't seem to make any sound, but as Frumpkin kind of 
hits it with the claw, you see the areas where the claws touch it. There's a little bit of like a, a very faint increase in luminosity in just the one spot for a brief moment. So it's reacting, but nothing more than that. Caduceus and Beauregard. Uh -oh. Your passive perception is high enough that as you begin to focus more on this centerpiece, you can see shapes within the dome, faintly. Like shadows of something that is mostly obscured by the arcane energy. While Kale has been very focused on the energy itself, you kind of look beyond it and focus, and you can see what looks to be the shadows of three humanoid shapes. There are people in there? Someone's home. Moving? Yeah. Oh. Moving or still? Moving, right? Still. Still? Three, three, three people. Absolutely stock still. As they see this, you look up, and now that you're closer, you once again kind of shift your focus from the energy to the interior, and you can see now on the opposite side, it looks like three uh, figures, two elven, uh, one human. You can't make out their features definitively, um, but they're wearing strange robes, and they look like they're running, but they are locked and frozen, their faces open and aghast, just in the sphere. In the sphere. This is Pompeii. Frozen. Yeah, it's totally Pompeii. Wow. So they're dead, and what, their protective magic lasted this whole time? I place my hand on the dome. Oh. You can feel the resistance, it's like touching a wall, but it has a slight tingle, almost like licking a nine volt battery, but on across your hand and fingertips. Um, I'm going to cast a spell magic at Level five. Yeah. Okay. You concentrate, focusing on the unraveling of the very basis of arcane equations. And you release nothing. I mean, probably some real high ups tried to dispel this too, you know? And I'll follow him into the room. Anything in the corners, on the ceiling, any sort of uh, make our way around the other side that was hidden by the sheer size of the dome, anything on the far side? That's the far side, you can see the, the archway with the doors that are off the hinges. Uh, you do see a, a hole in the ceiling where it looks like it, uh, there's an additional chamber above, but you can't see much beyond the fact that it does continue upward. Around you, you can see furniture that's been destroyed and fallen over, and you do see signs of it being ransacked. You can see like one of the, it would, it would have been like a really nice white wood, polished, uh, almost cabinetry that has been turned over, pulled open, um, the wood splintered from the hinges, and you can see elements of long shattered china and uh, small implements, utilities, that have been mostly taken and scattered. These elves, does their garb look modern, knowing the different places we've been from, or is it very, very old? You've never seen a tire like this. I have a terrible idea. <laughs> She's got a sword. I was, I was thinking that, but I don't know if it's... I think it's a low... It's pretty low, but I could, I could try it. If it's low, then it's not worth I think it. We've already the, hit it, we've already three. hit it hard. Third level or lower, no. The yeah. the target ends, but if it's and he did fifth level. fourth level or higher, I I have to make an ability check. Oh, okay. You're pretty so powerful. I could try it. But but in any case, like it seems like they've been frozen in time, at the moment of their demise. So like either this was a result of them protecting themselves or trying to, or a, a result of the explosion that sundered this part of the town away or from the rest of it. Or, or there's something about them and one of the mages that's been through here put some sort of lock and key on it. There's some sort of... Oh, that's true. Ex could be locked away by somebody doing the excavation. Something that they, they could harbor some sort of importance, we don't know. Can don't I know. still see the, can we still see the entrance like for the main area from here? It's a little ways back, but you can go back and glance outward if you'd like. There is no light source in that direction, so as soon as you step out, it's just darkness. You're relying on the two of them to get any sort of good view. Caleb, Caleb can you can you move a light up to that? Of course. That door up there. I spiral one up slowly. Okay. Looks like there's another chamber above. 
30 feet, you said? Mm, about 25, 30 feet. Mm-hmm. How far can you throw a cat? <laughs> Yasha, probably pretty far. I mean, <laughs> definitely. Can you keep one of the globules of light at the doorway, Caleb? Um. So we can see if anybody uh, is coming behind us. Yes. I'm just worried the tomb takers are going to catch up. Do you want me to try it? Do it. Okay. You're gonna check. <laughs> oh wait, are you throwing the? Ca- I think she was using the sword. Oh no, you, you were the cat. The- oh, I thought you were throwing the cat. I cut it in half. Sorry. <laughs> Held the cat. What are you, what are you doing? The cat. I was gonna do the sword. Oh, okay. Uh, Up to you. I misunderstood. No, no, no. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take out the sword and um, try to dispel magic with the sword. Okay. And you pull the sword out. <laughs> Ready? It's up. You guys. Back up. Back up a bit. Close your eyes. Focus. One mighty swipe down, the blade hits, and you can see the impact, the shell itself, the arcane energy alights around where the blade hits. There's a a slight, faint wave of dispelling energy, a familiar kind of unraveling net that fades. And you pull the blade back. No effect. Yasha Naduran, will you throw my cat? Gladly. Give me. Give me throw. Now we're tossing. Yeah, like one, there. two, a three. <laughs> <laughs> here, the faint landing above. Why are we wouldn't here? It's a cat. Um, but nevertheless, Frumpkin is above. Okay, I place my hand on Yasha's shoulder mm-hmm. and go into Frumpkin vision. This chamber, you can see a large part of the beams, uh, the structural beams above it have fallen at different angles, and a lot of this chamber itself is partially collapsed and definitely uh, not leaving a lot of space to go around. Make a perception check. Fucking cat. Come on, you motherfucker. Yep. 12. <laughs> uh, glancing around, <laughs> you, uh, you don't see much. <laughs> <laughs> you just see the rubble. You see, you see the. Uh, All right, Yasha, don't throw me see up there. much. Can I um, have yeah. said, like, in this time that we're all standing around and doing this, can I have been casting commune? Um, sure. It's only with a minute. the traveler. It only takes a minute. It only takes a minute. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah I was thinking it took. Which, by the way, your your. Uh, yeah. That is faded, by the way. Yeah. If you, yes, you may. Okay, I'm going to. Um, Hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so, can you like, you know, move around here really fast and, and let me know like which direction the crest would be? Like if I say, is it over there? Can you say yes or what? Um, probably, to an extent. I mean, there's strange magic about, but uh, well, what is it you want to know? I mean, are we in the right area for for what the the, the tomb tickers are looking for? Yes and no. <laughs> That's not very helpful. I'm no, I'm sorry, but you have to ask the right questions. <laughs> this is <sighs> stupid. Um, do we need? Oh God, there's so many questions I could ask you right now. I could have so many answers. Do we need what's inside of this blue dome? Probably not. It's been there for quite some time, and the poor things are just locked in those final moments. Hmm. Mm. More of a relic of history. Hmm. Okay. Threshold crest. Hmm. I happen to have a history. <laughs> Wow. To the west? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Probably. I mean, the tunnels seem to go deepest there. Deepest there. All right. Thank you so much for all of your guidance. Well, moment. thank mm-hmm. you for uh, we did that one. requesting it. <laughs> Threshold crest. He says we should head uh, to the west. Indeed, the I do. 
go deep it. <laughs> fucking guy. Cool, cool, cool. Mm. Should we try throwing Veth up into the compartment? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Just toss me up quick. Ah! <laughs> Roll strength check. Okay. Can I help? Maybe like we can assist yeah, yeah, yeah. and do like yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good yeah, toss. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Form a square. Uh, well, that's a natural nineteen. Whoa! So then, uh, try for the twenty. Try for the twenty. Try for the twenty. Pow. That's a nineteen again. Ooh! Uh, Double gun. Those are bad. Wow. You emerge and then step down on the inside. Uh, even with the collapsed upper chamber, because of your halfling stature, you can get around here pretty easily. Yeah. I'll just look for anything interesting. Roll an investigation yeah. check. Goggles activate. Be careful. Thank you. I was. Yeah. Well, hmm? 23. Careful. Out. 23 as always. 23. Okay. <laughs> Looking through, uh, you can find. Uh, that's how it's done. I mean, most of this, you can tell a lot of this has been picked clean. You know, you're not the first to come here. This isn't a fresh dungeon to be delved. This this is a place that has been thoroughly looted by multiple sources and multiple interests. Um, but you do find what looks to be a a buried and largely forgotten uh, small metallic box that is currently kind of wedged under a part of a collapsed wall on the side. Uh, it might take a little, a little bit of tugging to pull it away from its current uh, current hiding spot, but it could be I'll done. Get out the dagger and start sort of pulling, wrenching it out. Sure. First, I'll check for traps. Thank Go for it. Make an investigation check. <laughs> uh, Twenty-five. No traps. No. Okay. I don't like the way we're check for make, make a strength check. For <laughs> oh, delivery. Strength. This is to wedge it free. No. Twelve. Twelve? Uh-huh. It's it takes you a moment, but you do manage to pull it out. You kind of fall onto your ass for a second and you guys are the Love right. you. What, 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 fine. What's happening? It's fine. It's, like fine. it's fine. I'm I'm alive. You kind of sit back up and you look at it as you do the lid kind of flips open. Oh. And it's it's about that big. And looking inside you can see there's a there's a, a strange device. It's uh it's like Four triangles, all placed together, and it's metallic with intricate like this? designs and scrolling. Yeah, kind of like a D four, if you will. <laughs> um, but it has like glyphs on it, and it looks like like sliding discs. It it looks like an odd magical device. I will pocket it, mm -hmm. and if is Frumpkin still up here? Yeah, Frumpkin's I'll, up here. I'll grab Frumpkin. And I will, if I jump through down through the hole, can I, can I like slide down the dome to get down? Is you can dome? try and angle for it if you want to. Uh, cool. Roll an acrobatics check for me. Okay. Nineteen plus ten. Woo. You. Yeah. This is an odd shot, and and by all accounts should not work. <laughs> but you do the math in your head. You back up a little bit, and you do like. A super fast low leap, so you come in at a fast side angle, and as you do, you glance woof, off the top of the dome and slide down the other side. Wow. It doesn't do bru damage. It's gonna bruise that ass. Yeah. But that your tailbone's gonna <laughs> suck in the morning. Oh, but you guys watch as unexpectedly, Beth just <laughs> off the other side, and mm. you the momentum causes you to tumble, and you kind of roll over your shoulder and stand up, and you're like, ha. Oh, <laughs> that, that was incredible. That was amazing. Wow. Did that hurt? What yes. was up there? A, a lot, a lot. I found a cat and a box. <laughs> yeah. And a box? Yeah. I What's in the box? Cat. What's in the box? I don't know. I feel like there's some experiment we can do with a cat in a box. Mm. I don't know what you put in there. But I don't know what. I take my hey, cat. Ridiculous. Here, take the box too. Okay. Identify it. All right, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Do we have ten minutes? Uh, maybe. Oh, you need to be still while you do this, right? I yes, to, uh, we do. Can I'll, I'll I carry minute. you while you're doing that? Mm, no, I would oh, feel so that'd awkward. That'd be cute. Time. What uh, if we like? I could put you on one shoulder and Yasha could put you on the other, like a palanquin. Yeah. We but made of try, people. I will try anything once. Yeah, let's try it. Okay, we're going west. We'll okay. hold you. You do your thing. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. <clears throat> I begin ritual <laughs> casting. <laughs> this is the the strangest crowd surf <laughs> anyone's done. 
Okay, are you guys, are we're, you heading deeper in or heading back? We're heading west, deep like where the so, traveler said. Okay, cool, so they'd be heading back to where you started and then heading into the west. Yeah, okay. the junction. Okay. Along the way, you ritual cast the identify, which takes ten minutes. You said, "Yeah, okay." So it'll take arm. it'll take you a little while. So uh, walking back, the angels <laughs> <laughs> head back in and head westward. So heading into the western chamber, you see a shattered, once magically sealed door that leads into this next area that now lies fallen. It is like tumbled forward and left uh, not quite as broken as the doors you saw in the chamber where the dome was set, but it looks like it kind of was pulled off of its mooring and left to tumble forward. Um, beyond that, you can see what looks like a long corridor that has visible structural damage even at this initial glance inward. Um, not unlike the chamber, the long corridor that you guys had eventually climbed to in the previous excavation, but there are differences. This one is wider. The previous one was like almost single file. This one is about 15 feet wide. Oh. Um, but it has a similar feel to it, similar design. It is smooth and almost metallic, but you can see elements and panels have fallen. You can see there were structural beams above it that were pushed in from some sort of heavy impact that now punch through. You can see shredded elements of materials that were above that now dangle loose into the space for you to walk through. But that is the path ahead. Does it look like someone has trounced through here in the last uh, couple of days? Are there like, is the... Make a perception or investigation. All right. 18. 18? Um, yeah, it does. It looks like there's been uh, some recent-ish uh, foot traffic. It's hard to tell how long it's been, but you can see there has been travel in and out. Oh, all right. Does it look, you know, like Not normal funny. people tracks, or does it look like monster tracks? Uh, this looks like normal people tracks. Okay. I don't know what Nanagani would look like, but okay, yeah, there's been some people through here. <laughs> sure. Relatively recently, I guess. This one person has nine feet. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, they're here. Very it's long. just a corridor? Have we... Just a corridor ahead of you, a long corridor. Keep on going. Okay. How you doing there, wizard? Shush. Okay, He's doing, fine. Doing a shadow clone jutsu right now. Hold on. <laughs> 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 All right, continuing onward. You push further, kind of lowering him from some of the uh, the fallen ed regions of this long, long hallway where you can see beams. Braces have been built and placed up in here, you can see, more recent construction, though not you know, of the highest quality, enough to try and put brace beams to keep elements of this hallway from collapsing for those who are excavating their way further into these ruins. Um, 30, 50, 100, 120 feet, the hallway begins to turn, and you follow it at that side angle. You no, begin to- or turn right? Turn north? To, to, it'd be to the right. North? Yeah, north. Can, it would be. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, north. North. Um, you can see there's like heavy elements of, of almost like a rubbery rope dangling from some of these open, broken areas that kind of push past you, that kind of give this odd, almost a, almost like a, a, a skin touch against your shoulders as they shift to the side, like heavy cables. Um, does it seem organic or does it seem like. <clears throat> Uh, you can make an investigation check if you'd like. Yeah. Fifteen, which is pretty good for me on not investigation. You take a kind of look at it. it. It is flexible. It does not appear organic necessarily, though. The texture does have some similarities in its flexibility and the kind of smoother uh, sensation of the outside texture. Um, it does appear to be hollow on the inside. Um, that's the best you can make out about it. Weird. Bunch of tubes. Yeah. Tubes. And just severed, dangling tubes. Sure, it's tubes. Stopping. Continuing onward, and we'll say for the purposes of, of timeliness at this point, you have completed your ritual. My Rubik's Cube. Indeed. Um, this is called an Intuit Charge. You can find it on D&D Beyond if you'd like to add it to your inventory and read 
what it is and what it does. Into it. If you're charge. into it. Oh mm -hmm. boy. I mean, you were thinking it. it's like a debit card were. service. I was, I was actually thinking of a QuickBooks joke. And oh well, <laughs> yours is much. I feel better. like I saved you there. <laughs> yeah. Like into it or like into like it. it. Into like it. into it. Like in, intuition, intuitive. Okay. Very rare. Tell me more. Tell me more. This area is littered now with clusters of these thick cables and elements of the hallway that have nearly entirely collapsed. Except you can see now more of these makeshift braces have been placed up to give areas where normally this 15-foot wide hallway becomes a small bit of single file advancement. And you have to kind of squeeze through and at some points almost crawl to continue. And as that opens up, you come to a door. A heavy metallic door that looks like it's also partially off its mooring and hinges and is just wedged, preventing further passage. Wedged, wedged preventing stuck door. Path. Stuck door? And wedged by people or that doesn't no. seem like something that would stop us. If we if we touch the door, what does it no. feel like? A cold metal door. Um, Yasha. Oh, well, okay, yes. Well, what were you going to say? I was going to say I could try my paints, but we can try to move it with strength first. Smart. This might, does it look like it's supporting the ceiling at all, the door? Make an investigation check to check out. Ooh, even better, 17. It does not look like it is supporting. Uh, the door isn't, from what you can tell, at least. Okay. The the frame that it's in probably is more of the, the structural elements. I'm sure the door would help, but you do not you do not see based on the, the slight angle that it's at, like it's currently bearing a lot of weight. Okay, let's try to give it a go. Should we should we try it together? Yeah, let's try it together. Smash just does go for it. Come on. Okay, so either you both roll independently, or one of you rolls with advantage. Let's go. Let's both roll. Okay. Right. Go for mm. it. That's cocked. 23. Ooh. This is a strength? Yeah, just add your strength modifier. Uh, 26. Blue muscles flat. What's your modifier? Oh, wait. Not saving three. Yeah, my modifier is plus three. Oh, so you rolled a 23? Yeah. On a d20. I guided myself. Oh, got you. I rolled 19 plus four. Got you, okay. I was like, I was like the math is breaking my brain here. <laughs> Guidance. Got it, okay, cool. That's when I do this. That means I guided myself, but I didn't say gotcha. it out loud. No worries. But now, now I know. This is <laughs> no, bless your heart. This, this is this, this is, is guidance. Me. Yeah. guidance. Got it. Resistance. Dumbledore when he casts. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Between the two of you, pulling on the door, you begin to tug back, and you can see there are heavy metallic chains and cables along the top that it's attached to. And you realize at this point, it's not so much pulling it out of the way, it's trying to realign it. And with your strength, you shift it back into its space, and as it does, you hear <laughs> and the wall <laughs> begins to lift itself up. The door is pulled up a cool into voice. a ceiling <laughs> chamber and yeah. reveals an open room before you. Boy, you get Fuck trapped you, in there. Fuck you, door. Wrong. Hey, Easy. we took out of the door. A perception a check into the new room that oh, just yeah, opened up. Fuck my box machina. Fuck off. <laughs> Who do you think we are? Don't fuck around. Think this is campaign one? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> fuck your doors. Beyond the door, chairs of the new doors. As the light begins to spill in, you glance into a comparably preserved, lightless space. You can see elements of a chamber, uh, but. Furniture has been tossed around, but the floor is not as broken or as shattered as previous areas you've been in. It is a fairly solid stone, almost like marble or concrete smooth floor uh, with some texture that leads into a minor series of steps that lead into a central kind of raised platform, maybe 20 feet by 20 feet. But the chamber continues on beyond that. You'd have to send the light source further in to see more of the chamber, but what you do see as the light trickles in beyond the fallen tables and scattered, uh, broken, what looks like implements or tools, 
you can see large pieces of glass, large kind of rounded, jagged parts of broken glass containers or uh, sculptures, something. There are a bit thrown about the floor ahead of you. Mm. Those tubes are they hanging? We've seen from broken the glass before, you guys. In 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 the Happy Fun Ball, and it it wasn't it didn't end well. There were creatures in the glass. I don't remember that at all. Oh, that was well, I do. Well, this could yeah. be the same thing. Halas was in the same yes. time. Is it given the vibe? I feel mm-hmm. like it's given the vibe. Yeah, you can see some similarity. Uh, it's given the vibe. <laughs> are, are there those tubes from the ceiling again? Hmm? Yeah, same question. Tubes. The tubes, the dangling tubes? Yeah, from, from the hallway? Yeah, are, are they, they in here? here too? As you <clears throat> step inward, and if you'd like to make a perception check to pick out more detail oh, for those who want to, Guidance? you can see there are dark, dark alcoves to the right and left, and then what looks to be another set of kind of wider alcoves beyond that. You cannot still see the opposite ends this is as you're kind of slowly stepping into the chamber and inspecting around. Would you roll? 22. 22? Hmm. Anybody else roll for that? Just you? All right. You glance up and along the ceiling, you see there is a raised central area, about 30 or so feet up, there is a recess in which there are numerous glass structures held aloft. Uh, You see blue and green spherical or uh, cylindrical glass tubes that are affixed, though it looks like whatever sort of order they were originally placed in, they've been jostled and shifted out of their current setting. You can see elements of them are broken, and on the top platform you can see where other elements that may have been held up there have fallen and broken and led to the glass shattered across the ground ahead of you. You can see more of these tubes connecting between them and heading further and deeper beyond sight into the ceiling above them. This definitely has some sort of laboratory vibe, but it's of a different a different flavor of design and presentation than what you encountered in the Happy Fun Ball. I don't like it. <laughs> the actual structure on the inside of here, much like the semi-organic and clean feel as to the buildings that you saw on the street, has very, very fine craftsmanship, but it's the design aesthetic is very, I have no other way to describe it than crisp and clean. A lot of, of geometric angles and a lot of long lines. It has an almost, I, 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 I fear to use the term because I don't want to misrepresent it, but it has a little more of a sci-fi feel than the what you've been used to encountering in this campaign, but for the player's mind's eye, that will help best to describe what you're encountering. Very other, fine tools were used to make this. Mm-hmm. The other party came this way. Have we looked for tracks on the floor, dust, disturbed, snow, or anything like that? Not since we Stop opened looking. the door. Yeah. Is there, it undisturbed in here? Uh, go ahead and make a perception check. I'll join you in that. Uh, eight, uh, 17. Uh, 17. 24. 24. Uh, indeed, there have been footprints, and at this point now, as you're kind of looking through, and the smell begins to hit you. There is a very kind of faint chemical burning smell to the point where, like, at certain points, your nostrils, the inside, seems to almost open your sinuses from the inhale. Uh, and there is a dark liquid now that you can see on the upper platform that has congealed over time, like a, a dark black liquid. Uh, that has smell. Do I recognize it Ooh, yeah. chemically? Make an intelligence check. Mm, come on. Ugh. Thirteen. Thirteen. It's not the same smell that you had with like the black puddings previously, mm-hmm. um, but it does have definitely a, a, a caustic nature to it. Um, you do see some platforms on top beyond just the shadowed stuff he's beginning to push inward. They're like raised, um, almost like podiums of stone that have their own designs on top of them. And from what you guys are looking, you do see some writing on the walls and the top of these platforms. Caleb. Yeah. In fact, you see some writing on some fallen, looks like plaques almost. There's, there, this is the first sign you've seen of any sort of language. Hmm. Does this look familiar? Yeah, I cast Comprehend Language. Okay. As your, how long does it take to cast? Uh, uh, 
trying to keep an eye on the, the other side of the door, too. If that thing, if anything, any sound comes from the other chamber, if that door just starts to squeak, it's I want to know about okay. it. It's an action? Okay, easy enough. Shh. You glance over and you see um, inked across a damaged wall as you kind of step further in, and you begin to be barely able to see some of the light bouncing on the opposite end of this chamber. So there's the, the smaller alcoves, the immediate right and left as you enter. There is the larger, more rounded alcoves kind of in the center of this chamber to the right and left, and there's the raised platform in the center, and the glass is scattered all among it, and there are these two smaller, almost podium-like diases that rise up on top of that. Um, beyond that, you can see it looks like an additional alcove across the way, and looks like almost these large metal cages or, or containment structures on that opposite end, and you and there are two walls that face that side, uh, like metal walls. And we don't hear anything outside of us. Currently, no. It is just quiet. I don't like um, this. You see, across the wall, as you kind of focus in on a damaged aspect of it, where some of the stone has fallen, mm -hmm. you see a sign on it that is partially hanging that reads, Development Laboratory Procedures. Mm -hmm. Development Laboratory Procedures. You do see off to the side, there are one of these fallen signs that is broken and shattered, but the part of the language is legible. It reads, Primordial Applications. You can see now there is a, uh, a sign of writing above one of those metal walls, kind of off to the front and left of that far alcove that reads, Biological Weapons Research. Oh my mm. god. And upon the top of one of these uh, raised kind of podium-like things. You can see all sort of like symbols and glyphs, um, and there is there are two kind of marble, circular, uh, almost like buttons that sit on top, um, like palm-sized glyphs that are put into these circular raised bits of stone, uh, and the text on there says "Emergency Flush." <laughs> flesh or flush? flush. flush. Emergency flush. flush. Ooh. Mm. That's <sighs> a good thing if there's a monster in here. Or that's though. the thing that closes the doors and fills it with liquid. Probably. Yeah. Yes. Nothing in here is a glow, right? It's all dark. For you can tell. Yeah. That's What's the glow? other button say? Do we have to text? The other button has no text. I do. Off. And this all looks we pretty ransacked in here. Uh, from what you can tell, it looks like it's been partially ransacked. Um, you can make a more thorough investigation if you'd like. Sure. Make an investigation check. Is there another door on the other side of this chamber? We Yikes. haven't gotten there yet. Uh, you don't see another door. You see, like, the, there's the alcoves and the metal walls. Uh, there is that sign, or it's writing, it says Biologic Weapons Research, is on the, above the metal wall, and kind of the cross on the left-hand side, like an angle. Such a strange word to him, to us. Yeah, like, a lot of this is not quite clicking. It, it feels strange and... You don't really have anything to, to understand and connect it to. 26. 26. Um, a lot of this has been looked through. A lot of this has been combed through. Um, but you can see the central platform where those uh, uh, podiums are and where that kind of black liquid that kind of is settled and congealed on parts of it are. Um, there's only a few footprints. It looks like people tend to avoid that central platform, but people have walked up there. And this is probably dumb, but there's no sorts of like um, switches near the, the entrance that we came in. Any anything that could be flipped or pushed. Make a perception check. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. These are good rolls. Looking around the sides, not really. There's a lot of damage visible, kind of on the outsides of where that uh, the door's frame is, but the frame itself is very thick metal, and it looks like it's holding up. Majority of the, of the structure on this side, um, you can see heavy cracks that run through both sides of the wall. You don't see any signs of a lever. I don't even know what sort of power source this sort of laboratory would run on. Should we keep going? Should we check the podium in the middle? No, one moment. Um, I cast detect magic in here to see if anything feels active. Uh, of the of the chamber. The, There is very faint magical residue on some of these shattered glass pieces. 
When I say shattered, there are like small pieces and there are large, jagged sections that are kind of just resting uh, on the side. Uh, very faint magical residue, as well as that kind of dark, congealed liquid. Um, there, are, it, there are two stronger magical sources emanating from those two raised stones, the glyphs on them, on that central podium. And what am, what's the read on those, as far as school? Uh, if there is one. This, this is less of a school of magic. They are not, they are not a, a spell. They are not a, 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 a sigil that contains an effect. It looks like they are just connective. What so was written on that part? The two that are glowing, Flying. were there were there words connected to those, or no? Those are just unintelligible. There, there are there are word they're they're unintelligible. Yeah. Um, there is one phrase on it. It says "emergency flesh," right? And that is on the top end of it. And there are two those two stones. For um, flesh. I'm going to cast locate object again. Okay. Searching for the uh, the crest. You sense a faint draw. Kind of, if you're facing deeper into the chamber, to the front and left hand side. We should go that way. Towards that kind of darkish corridor that we haven't looked towards? That way? Mm -hmm. Are there it's, drains in the floor? And as Jester points over that direction, that's in the direction of where that scrolling on the wall reads biological weapons research. Biological weapons. Mm -hmm. This place is evil, man. Yeah, this place is fun. terrifying. I kind of want to leave this room and push one of the buttons, but not in this room. I think I feel a little pressed for time. Yeah. yeah. I feel like we should push forward beyond this. Yeah. I agree. Let's see what we can find. We can fuck with things. We need get to get rid go. of that crest. I want to try to destroy it before Lucian gets here. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Let's go. We should press on. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I guess I'll I'll go forward and I'll go side by side with you with with the globules just to Shall read. Shall we try if to move a bit read. stealthily? Sure. For fear that giant baby cries will find us. Sure. Okay. Don't we'll stealth check. Stealth check. I can oh. cast them. Um, mm -hmm. Thirty. Thirty nine. Wow. Crying adult. Adult. Yeah. Why couldn't the sign have just said like? Flubber or something cute on it. <laughs> Lubber. I don't know. Exit. What? There's an emergency exit when you need Blubber. <laughs> Bathroom. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you yeah. and I have been wondering about this for a long time. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm stealthing over towards the door. Is it a doorway that leads out of here or just a hallway? No, no. The, the chamber is closed off. There is no exit. What you do see are the two metallic walls. On the opposite end, uh, one of which has like a cage structure in front of it, and the other is the one that has the sign "Biological Weapons Research" above. And your ping was through the biological wall. Yeah. But it's just a metal wall. Just a metal wall. Can I search around the corners to see if it slides or raises? Yeah. Or? Make an investigation check. Uh, Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Uh, it does look like it would slide upward. You see a seam above, uh, though the, the the framing is different. It looks similar to the door that you entered from. So it looks like it would have a, a similar like raised uh, system. Ladies, we got another we garage door. Just lift it. To lift it. Okay. Both of you. Yeah. Full strength check. Uh, I'll just check around for traps. Just Go for please. it. Uh, Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Does not appear to be trapped. Okay. I'm going to give okay. you a D4. Great. We're going to stand back. Who doesn't do it? <laughs> Ooh. Plus a D4. 21 for me. 21. Hello. 15. 15. You both pull underneath. You, it's hard to get a grip, but there is some of the, the metal rim that you can go ahead and get your fingers beneath and one, two, three. With all your might, you pull. The muscles bulge, the veins pop. It's not budging. I'm gonna pull out my uh, paints. I'm gonna paint a little hole in it so I can peek through the door. Okay. Yeah. You go ahead and paint. It's normal paint. Oh shit, it's not gonna work here. Fuck! You don't like this place. Just what, what is this? Uh, does everything not work down here, or just the paint? It must just be mad, more 
powerful in magic than the pain is. Try to make myself look like Veth. Okay. You look like Veth. All right, we're good. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so there was a the 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 <gasps> emergency flush area. I make myself you said there's look like two water. buttons there. Correct. There, there, there's one kind of <laughs> the front and one in the back. The top one has the emergency flush Face. Uh, on that one. The second one doesn't have any additional <laughs> scrolling on it. <laughs> Does it look like there are? Uh, hang on a second. I'm gonna dart to the other corridor corridors. Do they all have the same lock shut type doors off of this uh, corridor? The, the very very chamber. F- the very very first door that was already fallen forward and off the side mm. looks like it was a similar structure to the one that you just moved through and the one they were trying to lift. So there is there is a consistency in the the design and. Uh, and then there, there was another offshoot right on the opposite side of this chamber. No, that's the main chamber. Just alcoves. Yeah, just, just there's, there's just alcoves. Just these kind of central parts of the laboratory where you can see there are like shelves that have tumbled forward or been turned over and are empty. I wonder if the emergency flush button was already pushed. I think that's exactly what it is. So we have to hit the other one or hit it again and make the doors rise up? I don't know. Uh, I'm going to burn a fifth level slot and cast telekinesis to try to lift the door. Okay, go ahead. Thousand pounds of weight. I mean, there's nothing to do. It's not being held by anything, so it's just if it, the weight okay. is too much or not. All right. Um, go ahead and roll a d20 and add the strength modifier of well, it's a thousand pounds of weight. Yeah, it's too heavy. Ooh. Oh. oh. Okay. Oh. Let's push some buttons. Yeah, I think it's the other one. That's mm. intense. Should we clear no, out of the gonna... room and have a hand press the other one, yeah. the opposite of flush? I think. I think perhaps like that would hydraulic. be a good idea. Yeah. yeah. The, the metal down. door that you guys managed to function—it's not so much that you lifted it, but because you managed to wedge it back into its slot and it, it pulled opened. itself back oh, up. But yeah. It should not have been, you would not have been able to lift that door. That door okay. is But it was basically not. I run over and I kick track. the door that Caleb tried to track, yeah. pull up with Caleb. I kick the shit out of him. <laughs> you do so, well done. Break four toes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Got it back in place, whatever happens next. <laughs> um, all right, so back up and I'll push the button. What button am I pushing? I guess let's start with the emergency flush button. I feel like the other button. The, the other button. button. I, think I think the other button. I think the emergency flush is what happened hey, here no. and filled it with acid. But, but if it's already down, if, is it like a light switch? We don't know. Did we that see any door, grains the, in the floor? The, the door that we moved in place was already up. Was already up, so we just put it in the thing and then it went up, so that yeah. button was already it was, d- it, was it was down, down. and wedged out. Yeah. We and pushed it we in and it went It was just slightly it off of yeah. its uh, groove. Yeah, yeah but, but it raised <laughs> up. As but it raised up as soon as we pushed it in. So I think something was already. <laughs> Holes in the ceiling? It's fucked. This is hard. From what, it's a little high up to see specifically. You do see all the, the, the glass uh, elements up there and like cables and wire that are connecting them. Uh, you do look, and there are portions of the ground where you, looking down, you can see there are holes. So there are there is some sort of a drain, a drainage feature built mm-hmm. into the floor. Oh. on the bottom. Caleb, can you throw some light up the roof? I want to just see. I got a I got a funny feeling. Okay. Let's push some buttons. What are you looking for? Holes. You don't see anything. Not matching the floor. I mean, like, is there any? Is the ceiling? Uh, like a solid structure, or is it like, does it? Uh, I mean, it's solid except for the recess in the center, which is where all the, the tubes. partially destroyed glass tubes the are. Tubes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, right. do those, do the, do the, do the tubes? Let's see if I can try to explain this. The tubes that are in the room that we're in, do they connect to the ones that are outside? Uh, there is a possibility that there is a continuation of them, but you've seen multiple tubes, uh, and some that are severed and just dangling. Like a lot of it's just loose and damaged, but you see at least consistent installation of them throughout. Let's do it. We have to push it. But yeah, I, I let's think we push want it. to be in here, right? Yeah, let's just. There's two buttons, right? DM. It looks like there are there are there are two raised glyphs. And yeah. one says emergency flush. The other doesn't say anything. Doesn't what if we get like shut out while half of we're exactly. we're all on the other side? I guess Should some of us be on the inside? Mm-hmm. Everyone, back up. How are we gonna back? What are we gonna back up to? We're going out. Of, back up. Out of the room or over no, 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 no. We can stay out of the room. We're fucked too. Some of us can stay in here. I think I think we should split half in here and half on the yeah. other side of the door, just in case. Weirdly terrible idea, but 
boy. I so really that hate feels. It. If we want to take I want to split the party so fucking bad. <laughs> up the dome like I did for Galadon. Oh. And it would protect oh. us if it fills with anything crazy? Mm, maybe. I, maybe. I plugged the bottom of a boat with it once. You did. Yeah, you did. it's waterproof. Is it acid proof? That's a pretty good that's, idea. I mean, Beth, no! Wait, wait! <laughs> I'm doing it. I, I slap the book down on the ground and okay. I start ritual casting. It's like a diving bell. A dome. Okay. Yeah. On the inside or the outside? Inside. inside. Oh, okay, okay, I'll okay. Yeah, and then we just sit in the, the dome. Out right. of okay. the door and just kind of keep an eye out during those 10 minutes. The dome is going to be where the buttons outside, are. Just sentry style. Okay. Uh, cool. Well, it's whatever we want. Veth could cast from within the dome. Oh, well, either. Yeah, that's pretty okay, good. Fine, carry on. Or we could put the dome on top. Let's put the, put the dome right next to the door so if it opens, we <laughs> have uh, access. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah. Good, as close as I can. The door. the door can't close. The door is Emergency closed. flush. Oh, the other door. Okay. This cast is the plan. I like it. Here we go. Okay. okay, so you cast the Which dome. Button? Where whereabouts are you casting it? Uh, I'm gonna put it as as close as I can get it to the door that we want to open. Okay, cool. So you're placing it kind of I mean the button. kind of opposite room, center to the left, kind of that area. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I don't know. Like I'm trying to figure out whereabouts. Oh, I can't see in such a head. I understand. So so where you entered. Yeah. Then across the wall and to the left is where that angled metal wall is with the sign. Are you putting it in the center of the room on that side then? Yeah, close as I can get to that door that we wanted to go through in the, uh, a moment ago. Biological okay. weapon. Yes, biological You got it. Okay. Cool. All right. All right. You finish, All right. You finish the creation of the dome and you are settled mm -hmm. with it. Let's do this. Okay. All right, it's up to you. Spectral hand appears and presses the other button, the okay. not flush button. Okay. The hand presses the on it. Button. It doesn't depress. It doesn't like lower in, <laughs> and it doesn't seem to react. Oh, it may need like people. Ah. Like I'll go over there. Yeah. I'll sit on it. You sit on it. <laughs> Nothing. You've got spells, Beth. Go for it. Come on. It needs a spell. What kind of a spell do you think it needs? Abjuration. I don't have that shit. I'll run over and be like, oh, I'll try it, and I'll cast Armor of Agathus at first level. Just add it? Well, I, that's that what we did before. with the door the first time. <laughs> yeah, I was like touching the stone and. Maybe if we get back okay. in and try and hit You the reach other, out and maybe. touch the stone, and the minute you touch it with your hand, oh. you feel it glow and warm beneath your hand. Oh, Wait, you just need a butts. hand, not a butt. My hand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not butt. Needed a hand. Are you serious? Yep. Yeah. My hand is like my butt in many ways. Yeah. <laughs> It's dirty. As, as it glows, um, <laughs> the door next to you guys <laughs> oh. begins hey. to rise. As the door behind you <laughs> slams shut mm. and <laughs> leans once more off of its mooring. Oh. It seems okay. like that door is damaged and is back in its wedged position as it was when you okay, found it. Okay. Let's go. But locking you guys inside that side of the chamber. The other door opens and you're within the dome, right? Yeah. All right, what are you guys doing? Go, Let's go. Going oh, through. Yeah. Nothing's pouring out or anything. Nothing's pouring out. Looks good. Hey. This, this, this hallway, too, is like 15 feet wide. It's the same as the previous one. Okay. okay. Then the yeah, we're okay. going to go down that hallway. All right, cool. Dome disappears. You guys take a few steps and you hear. At the dome if we uh -oh. need it. It's a baby! Oh, I hate that sound. Oh, it is like a lower pitch baby. baby. It's an old baby. Oh no. Oh no. Let's let's go. Should we go back into the dome? Just, just scooch back? Just drop he just Oh, you just the dropped the dome. I'm gonna yeah, invoke so duplicity. Hmm? I'm gonna invoke duplicity. <laughs> invoke duplicity. Oh, someone's next to you. As you guys, you hear the Like this kind of heavy metallic footfalls heading from further down the hall where you're looking, and you see this faint light kind of swing oh no. side to side. Oh, for God's sake. What do you do? It's an anglerfish. <laughs> yeah, we make friends with it. It needs a friend. Uh, okay, hang on. Is it dark in here? Is, is it dark? A... There is no light in the room aside from what you guys have created. Kill so... your globules. Kill them. Mm -hmm. Globules are gone. Pistor. You cancel your light. I'm out. I'm so you, gonna hide behind Yasha. Behind Yasha. Where are you guys arranged right now? Are you like because you, you stepped about ten feet into the hall? 
before yeah. this happened. I, and is it just a hallway and there's a huge, uh, there's a sound and light coming at us and like Correct. closed Coming towards hallway? us from yeah. the hallway? Yeah. Maybe back, we should back back into the up. room. Back, in the, back into the room. I, I can't see anything at the moment. All right, you guys all back into the middle of the hallway. You hear like, oh. you step into like glass that breaks under your, your foot. Um, thankfully, nobody gashes their ankle, but as you back up into it, you see the light kind of slightly swing. You hear the <laughs> shit. <laughs> The light begins to get faster as it heads towards you. Okay. You can see okay, now it light it lighting up the walls as it approaches. Let's just keep dragging them out. Let us not fight the hall. Back, back them out. Back them out. Back them out. I'm gonna find a hiding we, spot and I'm gonna the, the door, the door bolt it, again? bolt and get ready. Fine. Okay. okay. Oh, I, I'll, I'll, I'm just gonna slip to the back side of the oh, door, yeah. like up against the wall. Uh huh. Okay, so you hide on the side. You all find. Yep. I'll say for the purposes of this, I'm gonna set up. <laughs> A map so you can tell me where you are. Okay. Uh, oh, and then he's gonna call it, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, got to. <laughs> Do we, I mean, it, it, it could be really sad, you know? It, could, it might be a sad. Yeah, maybe, maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe he's, got a, way, he's got a broken friend. paw. This, this made up map is sponsored by Dwarven Forge. Surprise that special dungeon master in your life this holiday season with Dwarven Forge gaming terrain. Go check all their amazing oh. stuff out at dwarvenforge.com. Oh. No. Cool. God. Okay, okay, so, okay, okay. This okay, is okay. the hallway you guys yeah. are backing into. This is now the closed door that fell off its hinges. Okay. This is the chamber. And this is the platform where you press How the button. How did he have this? Where do you guys oh, want to be kind of placed? Where's the button that we pressed? Yeah. Over here. What, what was the hallway that you said we were coming through? That this is the hallway that's, that's coming down. You guys entered from here, yeah, and that was where you were headed before you backed into this chamber. Okay. So I'm gonna just get my back up against the wall, like right here, just right waiting for it to walk it. by me. Okay. Beth, were you hiding? Uh, put me like uh, behind a cage or something. Okay, you can do that easy enough, right? There. Okay. Maybe I could fire like through the bars or something. Um, I'm going to hide behind the rough shot. You can try it. Okay. What's up? I'm going to hide hide by the astrolathe on the other on the other side. Over uh, here? Yeah, right over there. I'm like, going probably to. Behind it. I'm going to put my duplicate across from Bo on the other side of the hallway. Okay. And I'm going to actually run and hide right behind the button. Over here. Yeah. You've got it. All righty. Yasha? Uh, I'm going to hang out with uh, Jester's duplicate hidden behind there, just getting ready, like right up against the wall. There is there's a lot of rock and rubble right there, so you got to move into the corner or place there. Where do you want to go? I don't have any glasses. It's all good. Okay. Um, uh, Jester! Fuck, fuck, Why fuck. are you watching Home Shopping Network right now? Yeah, I'll just I'll stay right there. That's okay. Fine. Uh, Ford? It won't work. It's a zirconium. You can't use it for a spell. <laughs> Caleb. It's so pretty, totally though. Blind, and Caduceus said that he grabbed Caleb, so I'll be next to uh, Caduceus. Um, All right, so he gets dragged off into this side here. Yeah, I'm. Can I ask a Caleb question? Behind me. Yeah, good. When we hit the button originally, when Ford touched the the button, mm -hmm. did it instantly react, or how long did it take to react? Uh, currently, half a second. And it was as soon as my hand touched it. No it was like, magic was needed. And then, and which I'm gonna podium try, was it? Yeah, like, did we Star Wars it? To where as soon as it starts to come through, oh, I'm gonna touch right, the button. Right, running, drop it, and then the rancor? You're gonna do the rancor? <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. okay. I'm gonna rancor that this. Which podium was it, by the way? It's where I am, that's okay, where I'm okay, standing okay. right there, yeah. Okay. Do you want me to do it with the hand, or you get, you're on the you're I'm on the button, that's what I was, that's why I went. You guys all carefully wait, and you hear the as it gets louder and louder before eventually you see the light begin to fill the floor as there is this dangling, swinging orb of light. You watch, especially from your edge, both Yasha and Beauregard as it emerges. And from the light you see framed these like human arms reaching out. And two more human arms. Uh, and two more. Nah. Clusters nope. of human arms that seem to be reaching out from the sides of a large, bulbous, swollen head. You see these arms reaching out like predator oh, tendrils no. from the sides. <laughs> Sorry, nope. These white, pupilless, glistening, bulging eyeballs protruding from the front of this gray face that the orb is floating from. <laughs> It's massive, mammoth-like body 
of thick hide <laughs> begins to step inward. As its head turns slightly this way, you can see the face, humanoid, but awfully cherub-like, like a large, oh no. pulsing, swollen baby face with over a half dozen arms emerging from the side oh. as its mouth opens <laughs> to split open jaw with hundreds of teeth filling the inside of its blackened mouth. They slightly twitch and turn. And that's where we're going to yeah. As we get to fight this thing. What is that? <laughs> Favorite minis of all time. Put it down so I can see it. All <laughs> no. is, is, this, is this a real what? thing? Did you make this? Uh, no, that? this this is actually from Kingdom Death. This is, is this is one of the things Dude. that got me to buy it. Wait, can you yeah. turn on the camera like so we that. can see his little? Wait, are you at the right? Oh, there there face? Go, there oh yeah. Oh, because you're the one that I touched, right? Oh, so don't that you need to be at the other one. Terrifying. No, no, yeah. no future so much no. want. <laughs> so we're gonna pick up from there, Whoa. literally right there. <laughs> next week. Oh my God! You can't. Oh, you can. Big and you did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Gonna poo like a baby. <laughs> is, it that, is it that far out already? Is it that far into the room? It has. It is emerging right now. I'd say. To give you the, the benefit of the doubt, we'll say there. Okay. I yeah, uh, I like this plan though. It's let's remember yeah, this I'm, plan. I'm, go one the scary thing is that's not yeah. the I know, worst thing I know. they make. Like nope. that is nowhere near the most horrifying thing I've seen nah. come out of that wow. game. That's the, terrifying. I wanted to bring this mini in. Oh man, so long. All right, oh. thank you so much. We'll pick this up next week. Uh, have a wonderful week. We love you very much. And is it Thursday? Oh. Good night. Oh,